We have Gateway Computers with the cow logo on the outside. Michael A. L. Foxy's dependable as your milk at your local dairy. We have Ryan Gary Dude, you're getting Adele the turno. He's gonna give you the most efficiency, most production, most reliability. And you have Smart Dog representing Asus and the Pegasus with the wings, part human, part horse, all min maxing abilities, ladies and gentlemen. Let's go. What are you, Dan? Um, I have I don't think about that. I just think about you guys. You're an NZXT? What's that? That's a streamer, streamer PC. A centaur? A centaur? She said Pegasus. Yeah, Asus's logo back in the day was a Pegasus. Yeah, but you said half human, half horse. That's a centaur. <laughs> <laughs> I gotta, you know, Wait, I, I no. gotta Pe Pegasus, Pegasus is half, horse. half horse, half angel. Centaur is yeah. half man, half bull, isn't it? No, no it's a horse. Minotaur. Your minotaur is a, a minotaur. What? No, a minotaur is all bull, dude. No. <laughs> <laughs> it's a bull with on like legs, like two legs, and it's got a freaking. No, that's six a pan. Pack. A pan? What isn't the pan? A He's minotaur has a freaking six pack, okay? Probably an eight pack. They we had one in um uh what's that show that Lady Gaga was in for a bit? Or American, American Story? Uh, yeah. Yeah, American when they're in New Orleans, they had a minotaur. Excuse me, she's re now referred to as Lady Gaga. <laughs> <laughs> Lady Gaborian. Uh, but what? No, that's a good point. What is a uh, centaur? Human and bull? Human and cow? I think it's bull horse. It's a a, a centaur is a human and a horse. What is yeah. it? What like What's two legs guys? and then just a horse's head coming out of the it's top? It's like of the, the waist? horse, and then oh, where the like the horse's us, so neck would start is like you're already. That's the the human part, pretty much. But, but what about the, doesn't a centaur have horns? N no, you're no. thinking of a minotaur again. No, because it's a human with two horns coming out of his head. When I think about, oh, uh, are you thinking about a satyr? Isn't that the same thing? That's no, the one from a goat. Pan's Labyrinth, right? Yeah, that's the goat bottom human top, but also has like the horns. Oh, there's so many triangles or diamonds. Wait, so a centaur. Which one what is a chimera? A chimera is on, like guys. half half dragon, half turtle or something? No, chimera is just any beast that is made up of other beasts. A chimera? Isn't that a car? That's a, In that's, Asia that's Mythology, called a Toyota Camry. Wasn't a chimera like um, like a lion or something? I'm pretty sure it's half woman, half snake. Yo, oh, that's the lady in Dark Souls 2, where you gotta burn the windmills. The metal windmill, yeah. Uh, go hit the diamonds. By Excuse the way. me, yeah, we um, have to collect the e empty hypos. <laughs> this might be a side quest, but we should do it anyway. I think I've done a side quest, it was called Just a Little Prick. Yeah, that's the, this is a side quest. That's okay, so the side quests are important. It, it said no we were recommended level 12. Don't, don't worry about that. I just want to make sure you guys are equipped to handle this task before us today. Sorry, right. I'm only level 11, so I'm breaking the rules. Are there all, are there any other half-human mythical creatures that we oh, left out? Like loads. Like what? A uh, mog, half-man, half-dog, space balls? Yoda? Voldemort in his snake form. Yoda. Wait, what's his snake form? What? Yoda's half-man, half-goblin. Is he? <laughs> yeah, there's, there's mermaids. <laughs> One. Mermaids is what half fish half. No, no mermaids, not mermaids. <laughs> <laughs> What's a mermaid? Half fish or half dolphin? I'm not gonna answer that question. We've done it. Oh, return to Tannis's lab. Um. No, but I'm not talking like. I'm talking like top of mind that people would know. Mermaids definitely, uh, that's really not deep lore. No, no, but it's, uh... Would you count what about, like a werewolf as a half human, half wolf? I, that's like 80% uh, yeah. wolf, isn't it? No, no it's like 99% It's like man. half the time it's... Oh, yeah, if you watch the shitty ones. All human, and then <laughs> half the time it's like 20% human. We did it, alright. It was, uh... Oh, use, use, drop, use pod. drop pod. 
Dude, I can't fu Why would you have a blue base with blue diamonds? That's just on very low. Yo, chat hitting with the, the hard hitting. What's a sphinx? It's uh, the cat well thing. It's all one half cat, half statue, right? No, it's like it's all cat and then lady face. Lady face? That's Does not it have a lady's to be a lady face? face? Yeah, that lady face the rest That's of the King Tut's face, dude. Yeah. I mean, we're going to Athenus. <laughs> Yo, so so when I was a teacher, there was a couple students that were obsessed with something called man bear pig. I'm like, come on, there's no such thing as man. <laughs> oh, we don't, we don't need to <laughs> and then they pulled it up on their phone. I'm like, it could be potentially real. That's or, from South Park. Dan. <laughs> man bear pig. Dan. What about a mog? I don't know. A mog is another one. I, I think he's trolling me. <laughs> he's trolling me. You've never heard of Man Bear Pig? Dan, you're trolling me. I don't like this. I'm not. Tr I'm saying it was worth the discussion in biology class. Uh, not in our school. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is a cool place. Oh, almost shot your dog again. That's All right. Maya. It's kind of, you know, can we make up our own lore for these missions? Because now they're, they're not even real lore pieces. That was my plan. Oh, we just, uh, the lore is shoot gun. Shoot, uh, guns? This kind of feels like a Fortnite level. Dan, don't feel bad. We watched SpongeBob SquarePants in my 10th grade science class. W was there any, like, attempt to tie it to academia? No, I think maybe my teacher was just hungover. Oh. Also, Malf will uh, vindicate this. I was no, I you, was in a different. He wasn't in my class, but all I was, was going to say and science class. <laughs> all I was going to say is that a lot of kids in our school were not very intelligent. So I think the teacher cut them a little bit of a break one day and said, "You know what? We'll just watch TV today." Half of them still failed. Did you, ever, Ryan? Did you ever become one of those students? And and I don't mean it in a derogatory way where like you would correct the teacher on academic improprieties no i'll tell you the one my my most embarrassing know-it-all story is uh in third grade we were playing a game where the teacher would like come up with a letter and we would have to come up with like a food and a country i got gotcha. shit. all named all starting with that letter okay uh, and then I just kept like shouting out answers. And then my teacher was like, don't shout out, put up your hands. Like if you shout out, you're gonna get in trouble. And then she said, okay, name a country that starts with D. And nobody was saying anything. And I just, I remember like not being able to stop myself. And I was just like, Denmark. And then she's like, you gotta go like, I forget what my punishment was. <laughs> In third grade, you knew Denmark? I apparently I did, yes. That's pretty impressive. Good res. Good like, res. What, what, did you put like your hand in front of your mouth to like prevent yourself, or I, was it just? I don't believe so. You just let it fly. I think I just let it fly. Austin, what kind of student were you? Uh, like to the teachers? No, just, just <laughs> academically. I got you going one of two ways. Uh, so like up until like halfway through sixth grade, I was, which isn't really much, you know, elementary school, elementary school. That's third grade. Uh, I did all, all the, what? That's third grade. That's halfway to sixth school. grade? <laughs> nope. What? Second grade. Oh, oh I forgot about right. kindergarten. He's right. All right, continue. Uh, I did all the work. That's because all the work, you know, was like easy up until that point. I don't think anyone would think that elementary school is difficult. Um, hey, good job, everyone. But yeah. uh, oh, oh, Austin, I've got the cyber version of your dog on me. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, so you did all the work? Yeah, and then after like sixth grade, something changed. Uh, <laughs> I didn't do any of the work. Was middle school in, in Texas seventh grade or sixth grade? Sixth grade. Okay. And you, what do you mean you didn't do any work? I did no work. I didn't do any homework unless it was like... If it took me less than 10 minutes, I did it. But uh, if it took any longer than that, I just didn't do it. Oh my god. 
So what that. what changed in seventh grade for you? Uh, depression mainly, I think. But like, did you get like a Super Nintendo or something? Uh, we had different middle schools. <laughs> <laughs> what do you mean? Oh, in middle school, you're probably what, N64? Uh, mm, GameCube by that time. Oh, okay. Did you get into fights in school or did people mess oh, with you? No, no. Oh, yes. But first one, no. What would they mess with you about? Uh, what wouldn't they? Just, you know, whatever they were feeling at the time. I know, but did you, like, pop off? Like, you kind of, like, no. chills, you when know? When you pop off, you don't get messed with anymore. So I did not pop off, and well, so I was it, messed He's with right, anymore. though. I had to do that a couple times, and it works. Dude, I think about that now and then. Like, if you have a kid and the kid ends up getting bullied, what advice are you going to give him? Because I, I think, like, start kicking ass is, like, the best advice. Uh, yeah, if you wanted to stop, but I mean, it depends on the situation. Sometimes if you're the one who pops off, you, uh, you get in trouble and then mm, it's true. zero tolerance. I don't, so it, I don't, it, it, yeah, I don't think you'd tell them to kick ass, but if you found out they got in a fight and like, it's because they were bullied and they, they clap back, then you kind of like, you don't get maybe as mad at them, or, mm. you know, you know? Do you guys have this glowing golden aura on the top well, and bottom leveling, of your screen? I'm leveling up again. No. So Austin, academically, like you just kind of like just passed. Yeah. I and yeah, I just I just I was the guy who aced all the tests and did none of the homework, so I got like anywhere from a low C to a B. Did you depending Austin, on how much homework there was? How did you do on standardized tests? Oh, I I destroyed them. I got like an award for the PSAT for having one of the top scores in the country. Isn't that a really? prostate exam? Yeah. I was just good at taking tests. I mean, I wasn't smart. I don't claim to be smart. If I was smart, I wouldn't be doing this. What? <laughs> wow, that's kind of insulting. <laughs> yeah. Whoops. Austin, did you go to college? Uh, first semester. Well, real college first semester. And just for the record, I, I don't associate intellect with going to college. I just was just curious. Ryan went there, so. <laughs> you know who else went there? Uh, Lori Loughlin's daughter. Did. <laughs> That's debatable. <laughs> We're doing more damage now. Dude, I feel way stronger this week. Very low textures have taken me to the next oh, yeah. level. Watch this. Cause we uh, we gambled. Oh, sorry. Austin, did, that's mal. Austin, did you mean what you said? If you were smart, you wouldn't be doing this. Ah, uh, that was facetious. So. Oh, okay. Why the dog can get? When the dog gets down, you have no chance of resin him. And mal, if you bullied kids in high school, right? That's still really not. I was, I was. Pretty, uh, on pretty good terms with most uh, groups or cliques or whatever you want to. Excuse me? What did you say? Clique? Clique? I don't know, whatever. What are they? Clique. Isn't that when, like, spit comes out from underneath your tongue? That's gleek. Maybe. Oh. Uh, can you guys do that? I mean, unfortunately, yes. How do you do it? I never want to do it, it just happens. <laughs> Is that a genetic thing or can anyone do it? I think it's just due to like the structure of your mouth and like if you're oh. dehydrated or something. Yo, you gotta kill my man's my man's drone lord. I think we got it. But yes, I'm I'm a I'm a certified gleeker. Can you guys glee? Can you glee? Uh, no. <laughs> No, I think just when I yawn occasionally. But I can't do it on cue like you guys. I can't do it on cue either. Oh. Melf, can you do it on cue? I don't I don't really know like what you're talking about. <laughs> <laughs> you know what a gleeking is? No, is that like, like Gleek Club or something? No, it's like you know have you ever seen a venom uh, snake spit venom? Yeah. It's like that. Except with saliva for, for humans. So it's just like spitting like no, it's not spitting. It's like venom coming out. 
Austin, can you do it? Uh, we're still talking about gleeking? Yeah. yeah. No. Huh. I cannot do it. Oh, no. I got you. I got you. Thank you. Thank you. Yo, so, uh, what's been the highlight of you guys past seven? Hmm. I got a haircut. Yo! Oh. Face cam coming back? Happy? Probably I mean, not. Pog? <laughs> <laughs> the haircut was the original excuse, but now it's just like, I don't want to do it. I get it. We talked about it before. It's like you got to be double on as opposed to just single on Tandre. I got you. I see your point. These guys are fucking zooming, dude. What's the mark button again? Uh, uh middle mouse? No. X? X. X thank you. Awesome. When you go to the barber, what do you tell him? Or the salon? Uh, I just say cut it short and simple and, you know, use your discretion on specifics. So you really, you're just kind of rolling the dice? Yeah. I mean... How did it turn out? Oh, amazing. That's because I went to a... Very, very expensive and good salon. Ooh. That I had a discount at, which is why. Yo. I think normally the person that cut my hair would cost like $120 per. What? Month. Yeah. It's like one of the top salons in like the country. Is it Paul Mitchell's salon? No. <laughs> is it Fantastic Samuel's? Uh, no. Is it Zohan? <laughs> yeah, uh, is it Zohan, Zohan, dude? It is not. Is not as but it's not uh, it's it was good there. The haircut was I mean I only paid fifty and it was well worth the fifty. Cause it was a really good haircut. Oh, we'll never see. Oh we'll never know. Can I just illuminate something for you? Please. Fifteen minutes in, voice is off. This is ten times better. Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Like, after last week, I was like, it's fun, but, like, it's... I don't know. Like, my brain is just on fire after playing it. I don't know why. Now I'm like, oh, it's so easy. It's just... This is just... You point and click. You are 100% correct. Yeah, I felt the same. I felt like... Like, my circuits were overloaded at the end of last week. I That's thought it was way too I can much describe it. dopamine. But too much uh, dopamine. You know, it's, uh... It's nice without the clutter. And yeah. just point and click. Much simpler. So, I also, I got a haircut today. You well, did? Not mm -hmm. also today, but I got a haircut today. Just fine. Um, but, I'm at the point now, I've been going to this guy for, well, I've been going to this place for a while, but like, I've, I've been like, you know, whenever I have to call to be like, hey, do you guys have room? Or they're like oh yeah yeah who do you is there anybody you want to see and normally I'd be like i don't care but lately oh. I've, been seeing, I've been seeing ray because he is from winnipeg so we Donovan? always get to pardon <laughs> ray ray from winnipeg yeah ray ferraro dude and, i wouldn't okay. trust him his son is bald <laughs> and so what do you say ray just like hey i'll slide you in beb oh <laughs> uh, yeah pretty much uh, <laughs> But uh, so it's nice, and he uh, uh, I didn't even didn't even have to say anything. He just started cutting my hair. Did you, you didn't say hello? You just walked in. No, no. I mean, chair? like, he's like, he's like, hey man, what's up? You know, you do the whole handshake and like, oh, how's it been? And, are you a firm uh, handshake guy, or you just kind of do the? the oh, the I'm a, I'm firm. I believe you can tell a lot from uh, a handshake. Yeah, I believe you can tell uh, whether or not the person you're shaking hands with believes in antiquated myths about power. <laughs> I didn't say that. I just thought, you know, maybe if I wanted them to do something with their hands, you know, you'd have a better. <laughs> That's the most DAE explanation of a handshaking I've ever heard in my life. Yo, I I will not. You do it. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> I don't even know what we're doing, but I'm having fun. Dude, it's so much better. Mouth, Mouth, what do you Bye. tell Ray to do? No, I literally, I, I, uh, the first, the first time, I was just like, I, whenever I get a haircut, I go and I say this, but, like, take it back three weeks. And you want your, you give them time? You want your barber to time travel. Well, they, they, barbers, yeah. no, generally, Barbers like, are just 
hair time travelers. It's really like <laughs> honestly. <laughs> They see the style and it's like, okay, just shorter everywhere by three weeks. Like they know they're like, yeah, so they're like what, like half an inch or whatever. Yeah. I'm like, yeah. Set the clippers and on three weeks. Now I don't even need to do that because he remembers. He's like, hey man, what's up? And uh, he just starts going. He doesn't need to ask. Malf, so. I have a personal request that you can't deny. I can deny whatever That's I want. No, no, you I'm may, you may you make the request. I won't. No, I just, I, I mean, it would, it would probably make my decade. No, it wouldn't, but, I mean, you got, you got some kids, right? Yep. <laughs> I mean, yeah, outside of that. <laughs> <laughs> um, would you, next time, will you get a mullet? Nah, mm, I, you actually, no, 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 I'm not, uh. Like a I Euro would... mullet. <laughs> <laughs> the thing is with the mullet is like, you kind of got to get a haircut in between. There's like a growing pain kind of phase you know it's I mean, like an in-between phase it's not like you know what i'm saying yeah Ch chad just for verification why in chad if you think mouth would look good with a uh, mullet and then and in chad if you think he'd look really really good in it i like the I idea i have to do a sub goal though like you know i can't what my grandma would not she think there's a that there's I mean, growing pains from normal haircut, but at the end of it, you're rewarded with the worst haircut ever invented. <laughs> I mean, that's a haircut of your nation, and you're calling it the worst of all I don't all think time? the mullet is the haircut of Canada. Uh, you find yourself a denim Dan nine times out of ten, then they're going to have a mullet. What's a denim Dan? Just a guy I call that wears a Canadian tuxedo. What's a Canadian tuxedo? It's just like a jean jacket with... Jeans uh, and yeah, like, <laughs> denim oh. shoes. Yeah, just, just probably like a denim out. fedora. <laughs> Don't like ninety percent of hockey players have mullets. No, nope. in the nineties for uh, sure. Now only yeah, Patrick Kane Yager. has one, and he's American. Yeah. Okay. Austin, would you rock a mullet? Oh uh, god, I am. I basically did have a mullet these past few months. Like, eventually it outgrew the mullet phase, but I, there was a time when it, I think you could consider it a mullet. Well, after you guys finish this part right here, turn 180 degrees and let's fight this chupacabra thing. I think oh yeah, I see it. It's over an there. optional boss. Oh hell yeah. I, I think he has many healing insects around him. Yo, isn't this just like Monster Hunter? <laughs> It's not completely <laughs> dissimilar. I Look at where I put him. Dude, that's so him. good. <laughs> I'm gonna aim him. Yo, legendary hunt. Crew challenge complete. Oh, Brian, man. can I ask you about your hair? Yeah, why not? Do you, do you uh, short razor it or do you buzz it? I use uh, clippers. Ooh. But how come your head always looks like skin smooth? Oh, it doesn't. Like today, it there's doesn't. a like uh, basic. My head always looks skin smooth, relatively, because not very much hair grows. Any powder? Too. I do not powder. It. So you use the the buzzers on like the back fryer tuck area? I use it on the whole head, but okay. yeah. Okay. Every five days? Once a week, on average, I'd say. Any post or pre-game prep? Not, not necessary. I mean, post, yes, I'll, I'll shower so that I get all the stubble off, but... Oh, but you don't do any, like, aftershave or any deals like that? No, I don't think it's really necessary. What's the opposite of sensitive skin? Rough. Edgy skin? <laughs> yeah, I don't know. But you know what I'm saying, Dur like... Durable some... or skin? <laughs> nonsense. So you must have non-sensitive skin? Uh, like I mean... Company. The clippers are not really a problem, I think, for sensitivity. I mean, it's mm -hmm. like, it's not, it's not hard. It's like, it's, they just play basketball. Why would they? Play? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why you're bringing a basketball player into this. Like... Yeah, yeah. So Austin, I've been thinking about something. Uh -oh. Okay. So someone this week on Twitch I read it somewhere saying that I don't know why Dan refuses to call keeps calling him last underscore gray underscore wolf. It's disrespectful. 
did you see that from your own chat like a million times? <laughs> maybe, maybe. So I was like, can I propose something to you? Uh, change sure. your name back. No, <laughs> can, I, can I call you Smart Dog? Uh, you can call me whatever you want, Dan. I really don't. I don't mind. But, okay. I mean, like for like branding reasons, if you're ever like on a stage in front of lots of oh, people, yeah, yeah. I'd prefer if you didn't. But do you uh, want me to call you Dumb Dog? Yeah, but you know, okay. just, I got you. Yeah. Asher Grand Dog. Yeah. I don't know what that means. I was thinking um, about that, Mouth. You you should get a sponsor deal with Blender Bottles for Bendel Bardis. Bendel oh, Bardis, ben Blender Bottles. <laughs> Remember, if you uh, pick up stuff to sell later, by the way, yeah. if you're not like, like, filling your backpack every time. Oh, yeah. How do, uh, oh, we need to search for Iridium. How do we get into the crypt, though? Oh, search it's not here. Oh, there's, <laughs> yeah, look at the. Okay, I understand. Is it right here? Oh, yeah, it's right here. Yo, so, uh, we, we, we didn't get to the highlights of anyone's past seven. Uh, we didn't oh, know. haircuts, haircuts, yeah. haircuts. Okay. Hey. I had a pretty low key week, honestly. I thought he got yeeted in uh, four. Um, he did. <laughs> oh, but he came back. He's been yeeted in just about every Marvel oh. movie that he's been in. He's he's probably died five or six times in the Marvel Cinematic Universe. Thor? <laughs> no, uh, Loki. Oh. Dude, honestly, like the highlight of my past seven is getting to play Deadly Premonition. <laughs> I've noticed you've been putting some heat out there regarding it. It's a great game. Was your favorite part when you started making movie references and the main character started making the same movie references? Yeah, dude, the movie, the, the main character is actually, like, more me than me. It's, uh, it's scary. Is I that mean, a David Cage oh, game? Res, res, please. Res, please. No. Thank you. Thank you. Like, it's not a David Cage game? Not David Cage. It's actually... <laughs> worse than a David Cage game, and that makes it better, as weird as that sounds. It has it has more charm than a David game. Okay. David games like David are, like, sterile and soulless, and uh, this game is, like, it's, it's fuzzy. It's got all sorts of all sorts of problems, and that's Is Detroit a David Cage game? Yes. yes. Oh, okay. How are you supposed to know if the David Cage? Uh, he'll tell you. Yeah, he'll he'll appear, butt naked on the screen to remind you that he made it. Is until dawn. It is a David Cage game. No. You okay. can tell right. because that's uh, fun. Oh. <laughs> you, I after watching you play Deadly Premonition, it's basically Mindhunter. Really? The show, dude. I'm telling you. I, some people did say this is basically Mindhunter, so I guess I gotta watch. So oh my god! I mean, you would like Mindhunter regardless, but. Is Mindhunter a Netflix show? Yes, so there's. <laughs> the second season came out a few weeks ago. You scared me. It's basically like back when uh, the FBI started doing, like, like, defining serial killers and stuff. Like, back when that wasn't, like, a regular thing, and then they're trying to, like, understand the psychology of serial killers like why yeah. do they do what they do and how do you predict them and stuff uh i have a question for you guys do you think we can get banned on twitch or at least terms of service if hypothetically we said we were serial killers in a movie and how we would kill our the people probably not it, wasn't okay. there a guy who wrote a song about that but it actually turned out like it was like a confession OJ? And he thought because it was in the, <laughs> the song, like, you know, they wouldn't think it was real. So, I swear, I swear, I swear this is a thing. I can't get over how much better this feels. Oh, it is. With, with no voices on. Yo, don't. Ava, Ava, keep it on the DL. Yo, yeah. once, once the enemies are dead, there's a loot pinata here. Yo, know, how am I supposed to know what Austin's dog is? Uh, oh! it has Mr. Chew on it. 
Yo, that was chat. All mine. Thank you. Thank you, chat. That means Poor we rich. all get it. There was a streamer that got temporary banned for showing a joke hit list of other streamers. Well, that's a different story. That's kind of a different story. <laughs> Is that your dog, Sorry. Austin? Yeah, I got He's upgraded. upgraded. He's uh, so uh, huge. Uh, I think there's a difference between, like, if I had to kill somebody, I'd, you know, whatever, versus these are the people that I am going to kill. <laughs> 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 just just my two cents on that subject, but what do I know? You guys think you could? I don't think so. Could what? Commit murder? Oh. I mean, in self-defense, probably. In self-defense, not... yeah. Yeah, but... not, like, <laughs> aggressive, no. Yeah. But even Why that, would anybody you could? admit that? Yeah. <laughs> this is where Dan would be. Oh, oh, yeah. oh, oh he's shit. a demon. They got him. Mouth. They got him. Yo, I got a big secret looking box here. Somebody with a key, come get it. Oh, is it a shift key? Do you need a shift key to open it? I don't know. It just says lock. I'm coming, but I doubt we can do anything about it. I mean, I guess I'm You not see coming. where I am, though, right? I'm like, oh, yeah, no. we can't get back to you, I think. What does hey, it say? It's locked. Is it a gold one? It's got, it's a red lock with a, an X. We have to, might, we have to, might have to ask Chet about that one, because I don't know what that is. A quest chest, apparently. Dude, do you gentlemen mind if I activate my Borderlands 3 bounty? Oh, um, by all only means. Only if you don't mind that I also activate mine. Oh, yes, please. Well, it must be nice getting a yeah. Borderlands 3 bounty. <laughs> Thanks, you know, actually, wait, we're we're going to be playing for two hours, right, Dan? Yeah. Let's all, let's offset them so we don't poach, you know? Oh, well. So you do yours first, and I'll do mine okay. after. Well, if you gentlemen don't mind, uh, I'll do my <laughs> Borderlands. Where's the, where's the chest? Three bounty soul. Do you have it, too? No, he does not. Oh, where's the, where's the chest? Oh, fuck. Uh, um, Does it seem no. like I had one? Uh, oh, wait. Right, <laughs> right here. Oh, there's a little secret. Yo, this is I'm so good bad. at finding them. Yeah, apparently, it opens after a quest or something. Oh, yeah, we gotta keep that in mind, I guess, because that's a little secret. Oh, don't you? Worry. Yeah. I'd like to thank uh, Gearbox and Borderlands 3 for sponsoring the next hour of, of Borderlands 3 <laughs> on the show. All right, you guys. I'm gonna proceed with the quest. If you if you guys do not mind. Go yeah. ahead. Yeah, we're coming. All right. All right. Oh, there's combat. Oh, wait. <laughs> it's a bit spicy. <laughs> Don't get out from behind my shield. That's what it's there for. Yo, nice I, Groban. I lifted him and he squished in the ceiling. A critical Groban. Yo, real talk, what was your guys' out of 10 hype level to play Borderlands 3 today? Realistic, no pump up. If last week it was a four, this week was a six and a half. Really? Yeah. I was kind of like six. eight last week, like five mm -hmm. this week, but I'm already back up to that like eight level. Yeah. What about you, Austin? Uh, my borderlanding doesn't change. Like I said, ten. I mean, I don't. I can kind of put a number to it because it's just it's just a, a fun experience, you know? Yeah. I like pointing and clicking, and I like when the pointing and clicking is easy, so I don't have to get mad at it for being bad, you know? <laughs> I see your point. Did you guys ever play Destiny? No. I played the no. beta Destiny for one Destiny 1. Yeah, it's it like a more serious version of this, or no? Yeah, actually. It is. But it's more multiplayer focused than this is. Like, this, you don't have to play multiplayer. Destiny, you kind of... Gotta play it multiplayer. Oh. Where do you get all those shields from? His butt. Yo, Dan, check this out. Yo, I, I don't have inventory space. Oh, hold on, Austin. Yo, where are you? I, I pinged that gun. Oh, the blooby thing. Oh. Okay, I see. I see you guys. Here we go. We're gonna do it. Yeah, focus. You gotta focus on, on this big boy because the shield is. Uh... 
You can shoot his uh, shield drone if it's not already dead. Oh, he has a shield drone. Some oh, of them I'm dead. dead. Oh, sorry. Yo, thank he you. He was thank so you. close. He got the bluey. I could destroy his shield. Acid kills metal armor and enemies and fires. I keep thinking Ooh. your new dog is an enemy. Yeah. He's got an outline on him. He does, but that's never stopped me before. Outlines make me want to kill things. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Mal, oh. did you really catch a Mewtwo or no? Yep. He, he did He's alive. Well, huh? I traded. I muted a <laughs> Mewtwo and it turned lucky. <laughs> I'm... I don't know why you don't believe me, Ryan. You've got a Mewtwo. Yeah, I raised. You have a Mewtwo? I have, I have like three Mewtwo's maybe. Oh, I, I mean, no flex zone, but well, okay. Well, they're in raids. You could just get them. I didn't play. Yeah, in the but game you didn't have a hundred since... people pl with you to get one. No, you probably need like six. Austin, did you get one? I got three. What? <laughs> yeah, I got lucky. <laughs> I only did uh, six raids, and I got three of the six. Honestly, wow. that's not bad for uh... for low level. is insane. Yeah. Like, I only get like six balls, dude. Oh, that's true. Yeah, I get like fourteen. You're talking about the white balls yeah. with the red lines. Yeah. Okay. What are those called? Premier balls. Uh huh. The uh, the cool thing was when I uh, went to get a haircut at a new place in Austin that I don't mind talking about because I don't live near it. Uh, called the Domain. And it's basically this like giant outdoor mall, but it's like not an outdoor mall in that you know like it's just like 20 shops lined up in a row. It's, yeah. it's like its own mini like downtown area with like high rises and bars and restaurants and shops and like. Oh. It, 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 like imagine cool. like, yeah, it's, it's crazy. It's like if someone minimized the downtown area and just stuck it right right in the middle of North Austin. It's. You wouldn't even know what it was looking from the outside. It just looks like a bunch of like shitty business building things. But when you actually get inside of it, it's like this crazy cool area. Hey, North Austin. And that's like you and me. Ah, <laughs> uh, yeah. It's uh, the, the the cool thing. The reason I mentioned it is because it was a Pokemon Go Haven Oasis with like 20 billion stops and gyms, and I couldn't believe what I was seeing when I walked into it. It was like a whole new world. Were any of them you know, uh, the sponsored stops? Uh, usually the Starbucks are. I think there was a Starbucks one that was. What, what's special about the sponsored ones? They exist. Oh. That's yeah, I, I have a... They only exist in the US, though. I don't think I've seen one in Canada. Well, they exist in Japan as well. But... Yo, Austin. I'm about to drop a bombshell on you. You ready? Oh. All right. <laughs> Because I just parsed it together, <laughs> but you put it out there. How ex excited would you be to see my smiling face in about three and a half weeks in person? Uh, do it. I mean, that would be that'd be cool. Why are you are you headed down here? Yeah, I, I didn't know that you were that close to Austin. I thought I, you were like. I mean, I'm a a, a quick drive away, but mm, like how I'm quick? Like Forty minutes out of downtown. Oh, yeah. oh do worth. What are you? What are you in town for? I got a wedding down there, so oh. I'm gonna be down there a couple days. Maybe we go a little pokey hunting. Yo. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm down. Just let me know when you're. Uh, Team when Unity, you're Pokemon Go, Yo, IRL Mal streaming. Balf and Austin, fly on down, boys. <laughs> well, Niantic well, sponsor. Yeah. <laughs> no, I, thought, I don't know why. I didn't know that Houston and Austin were that close together. My Texas. Geography is no, not they're, strong. They're three hours apart. I don't know. I'm used to. Oh. Like, you used, used to. to. Yeah. Uh. Was great. <laughs> the, uh, I mean, it's just all, all the cities in Texas are just really spread out and big, so you can live. Like, if someone asks where I live, I just tell them Austin, even though technically I don't, but that's just what you say. Like, Houston is the same way. You can live on one side of Houston and still be like nearly two hours away from the other side of Houston. Maybe not two hours. We'll... Two hours of bad traffic. Melfi, have you ever been to Texas? Nah. I wouldn't mind uh, going to some parts of it. Is there anywhere in the U.S. where you want to go that you haven't been, Melfi? I mean... Probably... I, uh, 
California would would be on the list for sure. Um, probably some like Stephen King places too. I'd be down for that. Stephen King places? You know, he always writes about towns in his books that are like. Oh, this feels like a boss battle. Yeah. I didn't know you're a SK guy. Not necessarily, but I just you know small. I like that kind of small town. You know, they got the one diner and I, you know everybody knows each other. I think those places are interesting, but I'm I'd be I'm always down to go any place I've never been for the most part, except for probably wouldn't go to Iowa. Uh, Iowa? <laughs> well, how are you gonna vote in the primary then? I don't have a witty comeback for that. Sorry. Something, something, Andrew Yang. Ben. Oh, this guy's a beast. Joe, they're flanking. That applies to both uh, Ryan and Austin. Is there anywhere in the U.S. you guys haven't been you'd like to go? I'd like to go. Well, I guess any of us that haven't been. Um, Colorado seems cool. Yeah. New York yeah. as well. I haven't been in New York. Older Colorado. Why Colorado is for you guys? Uh, I've heard good things about it. Mm, good nature or it's good a more other stuff? It's place, right? Generally? Yeah, yeah, I think they weren't they one of the second or first to, you know... Join the grow grass. Yeah, yeah. First. first? They were up there. I remember being in PAX West with you guys. Might have been the first PAX West ever. And I'm like walking down a street corner. I'm like... Ah, are they allowed to do that? And someone's like, yeah, they are. Okay. All right. Well, that'd be like 2012 or 2013. That is, uh, it's 10 times worse at PAX now. Really? Yeah. And like, like I, a vape nation? I honestly like do not, I'm not like, they should be in jail, but I'm just like, yeah. can you just like try not to do it around other people? That. Yeah, it's, like in it's public. Annoying. There's a thing for a specific class here, Siren. The oh, it's Malfi. I'm Siren, yeah. All my inventories. Chichaco. Oh. Sniper rifle. I gotta drop. <laughs> Critical hits ricochet one bullet at the nearest enemy. Uh, this is for tactician. Tactician is me. I don't know. I think it might be Dan. Uh, I'm Gunner, I think. That's me. That's definitely me. We need to go to a store and sell some junk. Agreed. Yeah, I'm full. Oh, that was you. Shit. Did you need that? Go back to the sanctuary to after this, because I have to let my wife in anyway. Sounds like gambling time to me. Yo, there's a Gunner mod here. And... What that happened? is me. What happened? Oh, there it is. Okay. Oh, that's my oldie. Ah, it's worth some money, though. I didn't lock her out. She didn't take her key. That is, there's a huge difference. You won't learn her lesson if you let her in, right? I, that's, she, she won't learn her lesson. It's probably, I mean, it happens like once every three months. It's not that big of a deal. I'm like, how do you, it's the, the male way of dealing with this, yo, you can open this chest, is the classic three pocket pat. Every time you're out in a new place, you give yourself the three pocket pat down. You go wallet, phone, keys, wallet, phone, keys, wallet, phone, keys, every like 15 minutes. I don't know how you can get out of the house without having your wallet, your phone, or your keys. If you feel naked. Yeah, I mean, you're not, how are you doing if you're not doing the check? I, this happened to me the, for the first time ever. I uh, I was at the grocery store the other day, and I was getting out of the car, um, and I just I just got out. Like I didn't I didn't like I put it in the park, but I didn't turn the car off. And I got like five steps away, and I was like, "What the heck? Uh -oh. Something doesn't feel right." Yeah. And I went back. To, I was like, "It's still running." 
What's going on here, buddy? Is that? That is <laughs> <laughs> good. That did once also happen. Um, well, years and years and years and years ago, when I worked at the one uh, power plant, I, I was coming back from like a, a, I had to go into town or something for some supplies or something like that. So you take the work truck and and then you come back. And I parked it right next to the plant manager's vehicle. And then I was like, what's that like, you know, humming noise? And and why is there like heat coming off of the vehicle? And then, like, I got a little bit closer, and it was running. And then I, I just, like, went in, and I was like, "Hey, man, your 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 vehicle's on." He's like, "Oh, jeez, <laughs> I parked that thing five hours ago." <laughs> and uh, yeah, so. it's not not really a funny story, but it's funny to me. Oh. Can I fast travel allies in a minute? No, return is the sanctuary. So we can give the ah, alt key to Tannis. Cannot fast travel allies in a menu? That's mouth 100%. No, I'm trying to fast travel for us. <laughs> you gonna hit. There you go. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> <sighs> Pump gas while it's on too. I mean, that's the thing. I used to, because I used to work at the general store and it was like full serve. And it's really annoying when people would come and they'd be like, hey man, like, I'm gonna pump the gas and like, nah, bro, it's full serve, all right? Because as soon as you let somebody do it, they're gonna go like, say they're getting 20 bucks in gas, mm. they're gonna go like, 2003 because they're not they don't have the skills like i do uh, but they're gonna they're just gonna give you the 20 bucks and you're like the three cents like it 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 gets captured in the system because at the end of the like the day you do the readings from the pump so you know like how much gas pumped versus how much was input into the, the cash register so it looks bad on you if it's off so it's really annoying but anyway sometimes you get people coming in and they'd be like, hey, man, like, my vehicle's really crappy. I can't, I can't, if I turn it off, it's not going to start again. Can you just pump the gas while it's running? I'm like, get Pump out the of gas here. while it's running? Yeah, which is like. That's illegal. Well, it's, I, I don't know if it's one of those, like, myths kind of thing, like the, or, or not necessarily a myth, but you know how it's like, also, you shouldn't talk on, on your cell phone while pumping gas yeah. kind of thing or whatever. Like, I don't know if there's, like, legitimacy to it or it's just whatever but i'm not gonna test it off okay, or you I'll get you. get out of here better shut it off is austin gambling uh i'm trying to figure out which weapons i want to bring to the next engagement i just took my three most powerful weapons yeah yo, yo there's a company in the game called austin you guys see that Maybe it's just me. All right, now I'm gonna go gamble. <laughs> Dude, I don't know. Do the slot machines cost more the more you? Uh... Yes. Okay, because otherwise you could be there for like 100 years. You know what I mean? They scale with your level. I mean, you guys go whenever. I'm just gonna immediately win an epic gun. You guys epic. should gamble because I need to wait for a text to come in that uh, tells my wife that I should go. Pick her up. Pick her yeah, up. My wife, gotta, I love her very much. I gotta go pick her up she from the ground floor. Um, money. Yo, look at this. This is a Westworld gun. Yeah, I sold a legendary. You got a problem? <laughs> Wait, why do you have to pick her up? She doesn't have her key to get inside of the building. I thought you have biometric scanners and retinal scanners in your building. She doesn't have the, she doesn't have the scanner on her. Ah. Uh, Careful, Dan. Yo, how do we get better guns, Austin? Forehead. Uh, gamble. Find them. Or and gamble. find them, yeah. They're just always all around. Like here, is this a good gun for you? It's good. 
Actually, one is green gun. Oh, she's here. All right, have a good time, guys. I'll be back in a sec. Don't duel me while I'm gone. I'll be very upset. 202. Yes, it is. Well, there you go. Clip it up. What about this one? Uh, um, what is this? Oh, the, this one? I can't look at it until you take it off. Oh, it's got it, There you go. It pops off eventually. Rovi Creech. I kind of like that. Something funny, Malfi? Um, QB bot. You got QB bot, right? Uh, I have the original version. You have the secondary, uh, patina version. Um. You know, whatever. That just means oh. better. <laughs> no, no, I, I do, but I don't have the um. Here, how, how's the, the shield for your shield? The speech then? stuff. Yeah, I don't. I don't have. I don't have the um sentient version. It's pretty interesting. Um. You should. You should turn it on. Because it learns from chat. So, because you have such a wholesome chat, it'll always say wholesome things. Yeah, I don't know if I want to, you know, have the bots take over Twitch just yet. You can do uh, cooldowns and stuff like that. No, no, I mean, I don't want them to learn the gray matter. It's too late. Apparently, we're six months away from indistinguishable deep fakes. <laughs> <laughs> I saw a deep fake of Ryan. I'm like, yo, this is pretty good. Um... Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, who was it that I was working with? Yeah. It's really good. And now that they have the, like, audio deep fakes, it's, it's, it's too late. I wonder what they can do to verify that it's a real human. You know what I'm saying? Like, in the future, is there, like, going to be, like, a verified check mark on the person's forehead? Probably some, like, you'll have to get some chip implant or something. You know? Yeah, yeah. Encrypted. Run, run, run! Why are those so high level? Is that slot machine bugged, chat? It's so weird. Run, run, run! All right, so do you guys have any good grenade mods? Uh, mine's uh, all right for now. Mine's uh, pretty good. Slash, can, this dog, I'm Austin. <laughs> he just wants to watch. I know, but like, at least let me sit on him. Excuse me? Because he gets in the way. Oh, grenade! Yo. Ooh. Alright, so we're, we're selling some stuff. We're filling up here, boys. Austin, did you order food for the day? I ate earlier, so I probably won't eat until the end of the stream. What'd you digest? Uh, I tried Panera bread and ironically just got mac and cheese, and it was pretty good. Did you get it in a soup bowl? Yeah, it's got no bowl. No bread bowl for me. Uh, what did, what's your guys' opinion on bread bowls? I... Uh... I do. I want to order one. Like I haven't. I've never actually had one, but I definitely just don't want to like order one. Right off the I back. like it with the the spinach dip like recipe, where you make this is like the spinach dip with like a, I don't know, like cream cheese, spinach, like bacon chopped up, maybe some cheddar in there, the different stuff, and then you get the bread bowl and you cut out most of it, and then you cut up the stuff that you cut out, and you use that to spread the the, the dip on. It's nice. I like that. Isn't it a soggy bread though? No, because it's like a, it's like a, it's like a pretty thick kind of like spreadable dip. It's not like, it's not like a dressing or something that's kind of runny. Like you I'm have back. to spread it I'm with right. a, hold on, hold on. like a little knife thingy, so it doesn't get the bread soggy. I mean, isn't the interior of the bread bowl soggy though? No, it's like it's like a big. 
I don't know what kind of loaf it is. It's like, uh, but no. I mean, you 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 do it up right before you serve it. Like you make the the dip, the the spinach dip, and then when everybody's ready, then you just cut out the thingy and then you put it in. So it doesn't get soggy. Mmm. I've had it a million times. I'm telling you. Bread bowls mm. pretty good. Uh, bread bowls? Yeah. Isn't that what you're talking about? A bowl of bread. Yeah, but like. Isn't it, isn't it like wet and bread? Yeah, no, I mean, the spinach dip is like You have like soup salt. in it, I guess. But. Yeah, yeah, but that's what I'm talking. I'm talking about soup version. Oh, well, yeah, of course. But you eat it so quickly, eh? if it's soup, it wouldn't matter. Austin, you think I could get a hmm? bowl, Daddy? Oh, yeah, absolutely. I'll switch to the one. Thank you. Go but, um, I need a non-sniper rifle gun, and then I would like to shoot more enemies. What By about all means? Do you guys like taco salad in the big taco bowl? Oh, I do. Yeah, right. Well, that's what that doesn't get sucked. No, but I mean, just asking. Do you like it, Dan? Um, occasionally, once a year. Once a year. Yeah. Like I, they serve it at the a movie theater I go to. I'm like, I had it once this year. I'm like, I'm good for another year. I don't need it. Like you got sick of it, or? It yeah, can't it's, be that it's good like if you only a, want it once a year. Yeah, it's a once a year th thing. What else do you do once a year, Dan? Christmas. <laughs> That's Yo. fair. I love gambling. Dude, I wanted <laughs> not a sniper rifle. I want a bad sniper rifle and then an extremely poggers sniper rifle. Ooh. Nice. But I think well, you guys are hating all over the place. That's not me. <laughs> oh my god. I'm gonna put on record right now. I think the next TwitchCon is gonna be in Vegas. Uh, Brian, can I get some no, G? They're gonna have it in California. I'm gonna put it on. I'm film. Someone's already got you. I think. I'm sad I'm missing out on this TwitchCon, but at the same time, it's like. I think I'm sad that I'm missing out on hanging out with Justin. Yeah, <laughs> what I'm is that? literally zero FOMO at all. Wait, I thought you were going, Ryan. It's right now. Uh, oh. who's the gunner? You want this class one? Dan, you're the gunner, right? Yeah, yeah. When it pops out, see if, it, if you need it. Um... Or it's on Friday. Same difference. What day is it? Tuesday. I thought you were maybe on the ropes of going, Ryan. No, it's all, it's up to the wrenches. If there's any wrenches in chat, if you want me no, there, you talk to David Miyazaki. Wow. Yo, I'm talking to David Miyazaki tonight. Oh, really? Yo. Yeah, I'm interviewing him for the podcast. Tonight. Oh, really? <laughs> yeah. That's cool. I'm going to talk to David and I'm going to, I'm going to book you, Ryan. <laughs> for what? I don't know. I'm gonna. I'll start up uh, Malphicon in Toronto, and you'll be the keynote Deck. speaker. All right. Deck jam. Deck jam. Are you guys ready? To do, ready to do some some shooting? Yes. I'm down. Just go to the diamond whenever you're. Oh ready. my god. What? Kate. She ordered, got you a bread bowl. Kate ordered gunner glasses. Oh no. Yo, hold. The, tell her to stay on camera. I want to see. She doesn't know. She doesn't have them. They sent her seven, oh. 70 or seventy-five emails that confirm the purchase. <laughs> oh, I thought she was about to. Did you? Have, it's like forty-two. Forty. Forty-four it's emails. Still, it's still going. It's, it's increasing. It's keep going up. The numbers why? Keep going up. Forty-seven. Forty-eight. Wait, what is this? Yo, you're gonna have to block that. 51! I I know what happens to numbers. Wait, so why did she buy them? Or do they like help she, your eyes? She, I'm sorry, it's just very frustrating. I'm having like two conversations. Oh. Right now where only one side can hear. Both uh, sides can hear la, me, la. but neither people can hear the other side. Why did she purchase them? She purchased gunner glasses because she has eye strain from using the computer too long. So is it is it proven to help? Yeah, or it's I mean, worth a shot. You, you could also, I guess, you could like get flex or, or flux or something like that. But I think gunner glasses, despite being like kind of meme gamer glasses, they also have you know they have use. Are they like blue blockers type deal? 
I have no idea. This this uh, information can probably found be found on the Gunner website. I isn't that it's standard? Not like standard, standard, but that's pretty common you, of most. You, glass you gotta you block. You gotta block the email address. Otherwise, they're just they're like DDoSing your email account <laughs> with purchase <laughs> notifications. You're not being charged for each one, right? Like it's just. Uh, Otherwise, you just bought 70 pairs of gunner glasses. <laughs> Giveaway, boys! Giveaway on Kate Army roll out. Gun timber. Are we going somewhere? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I'm, I'm talk doing the dialogue. Oh, okay. What is Flux? It's a program on your computer? Flux is just, it's a light filtering program on the computer. It just dims the at at night. It like it kind of sepia tones the display. Oh, uh, got you. <laughs> what? I just uh, I I've been playing around with QBBot and I just did generate. I love it when Ryan and uh -oh. instead I love it when Ryan is a regal looking horse. <laughs> All right, awesome. What what planet do we need to go to? I, we're still doing dialogues. I'll tell you when we get there. Keep keep hitting the machine, so I'll, I'll let you know when we're leaving. In this house, we don't do dialogue. Yeah, I'm done with machines too. We still have to per per process. What's the word? Progress the dialogue. Yo, did they ever finish the Borderlands Telltale game? I believe yeah. so. It is out. I mean, I don't know if you can find any more, actually, but it did come out. I feel like if there was a book written about the fall, like the rise and fall of Telltale Games, I would read it. Because it seems unfathomable for me that they existed for like 10 years as like, hey, we published like kind of cute and quirky adventure games. And then they had like an unbelievable breakout with The Walking Dead. And then, like, six years later, they're like, we're out of business. And what was it? They bought too many licenses? That's what I heard, is that, like, uh, they, they spent too much money on licensing. And then, you know, eventually the sales just cratered because there were too many. Mm. Or the, not, not too many sales. But, the mock. Yeah. yeah. They call that the Melf Prophecy. If someone's got a sniper... Either give it to the sniper or you let everyone take a shot at it. I think they let everyone take a shot at it. Amen, brother. Everybody should get to ride the pony. All oh, right, go to Meridian me. Metro. I, I, I got it, I got it. Okay. Hey. They basically made most of their money from Walking Dead and used all the money on licensing, but none of the new games made much money. Mm. It seems very strange to me that they had to buy licenses for this stuff. That's one of those things where I'm like, shouldn't HBO have been paying Freeze? you to make the the Game of Thrones game? Sorry, I was probably super robot. Yeah. What? Basically, you're what? saying they should have just got a cut of the game versus paying them a license up well, front. I mean... I, I thought, for some of them, I thought it was like a promotional engine for the property. Mm, like my sense. perspective on it is like why am I paying HBO to make a Game of Thrones game? They should be paying me to make a Game of Thrones game. I'm advertising their garbage show. <laughs> yeah, we did <laughs> We didn't know it was garbage back then, but still. Why don't we just like start up Team Unity Publishing House? Yo, it's kinda to... like Than Thanos and Batman and Fortnite. They pay to get into Fortnite. Yeah, that's what I thought. Yeah. It's advertising, dude. True real estate. I what would about never mouth get in the game publishing business because it seems you don't like, have to do anything. Yeah, that's a beautiful thing. It seems like an extremely good way to go broke. <laughs> nope. So here's the here's how it works. All right. We just we incorporate Team Unity Publishing House. T U P H. Not so and... worried about the name. No. Okay. <laughs> we call it it's tough for short. Yeah. And then um, we get everybody to come to us with game ideas, and we just get a 25% cut no matter what. What do we? What service 
do we offer them for the 25% cut? We get their game out there. <laughs> what does that mean? <laughs> so like, we'll upload it to Steam and <laughs> and get them exclusive. We'll, we'll, we'll handle the bounties. <laughs> you know? But who's Probably gonna pay for the bounty? We'll, we'll, we'll do a tweet or two, you know? That'll be And uh, we'll be like, hey, check out Macro's Magnificent Machines releasing June yeah. 2nd. But who's going to compensate Julian for all of his uh, two years put into so the game? So all the money goes into Steam. Right. Uh -huh. We get whatever, like 69% or whatever the cut is. It's Iron Man. And then we keep 25 of that 69% and then the rest goes to Macro's. Yeah, but we what didn't about game any cut. What are you talking about? We got the game out there for <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, uh, in terms of, of the gaming industry, I would gently push Austin to be a level designer. Because mm, I've I mean, seen what's out there. Yeah, just submit your... Yours is tippy top. Your resume can just be your Mario Maker levels. <laughs> and then just email Shigeru. And be like, yo, check these out. Um, actually, uh, it's be his portfolio. <laughs> I'm serious. Like, you could see some of those levels in like a Mario DLC. If Mar Mario know. had DLC. Bit, bit too hard. Yeah, they're for... too hard for Mario players, honestly. What are you trying to say about Mario players? <laughs> Take Viper Drive. Take hey, Austin, you gotta hold up, brother. I'm in, I don't know. I'm in second them. place here on the on the quest, and I'm still very far behind. Yeah, I've, I'm, I'm getting us to the shooting right now. I'm just talking to this guy. Yeah, but I can't teleport. Use Viper Drive. Dan is here. Oops, was that the Viper Drive? Yeah. Oh, it's hitting button. No, I mean that's what we need to do. What we want? Didn't we want to wait? You guys are doing a different quest. Do you want us to come oh. to you? I didn't touch anything. Someone's I doing see a different. You go quest. to Skywell Twenty Seven. Yeah. Is that a different quest? Oh boy. Oh my God! A good weapon. You guys got any interest in peeping Call of Duty Modern Warfare? Yes, yes, yes. I feel like they get me every year. <laughs> like after Black Ops 3, I was like, it was really fun, but I don't know if I want to play more. And then everybody that's playing the beta for Modern Warfare is like, it's super good. This is the year. And I'm like, ah, shit. <laughs> I thought last gun. year was the year. It's not to November, right? Yeah, nah, I think it's a ways away, but... I don't know, man. That's when Pokemon comes out. I'm gonna be busy. What, are you too busy for Unity? Uh, no. Oh, Alright. Where does the it, fuck are we? Does it have... We are uh, an asteroid. Uh, oh, low graph. It's the pre-sequel. Uh, does it have a BR mode? I think oh. so. I don't know. I s maybe. The chat will know. Was it called Whiteout? <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I don't think it does. Chat will. I'm, I'm certain chat will. Chat says it does not. Not right now. I was actually thinking about that the other day because I know there's a 2v2 mode. I'm like, oh, we could splice it up every now and then and do like mixed 2v2s. Are you sure about that? What? Austin, I feel bad for you because you'll be in last place every time. <laughs> Me and, um, me and Austin so, against Dan and Malf. Yo, I'll take that battle. Yeah, Malf's I'll take only. Those um, so I, me and Ryan would be in Austin Malf. Uh, I mean, oh. yeah, I'll, I'll play whatever. I don't really care. If it's a shooty gun game, I'll shooty gun. There's guns in Rimworld. <laughs> not really. Yeah, really. You roll a D four hundred to determine you whether or not it hits. You don't roll anything. You, it's rolling behind the scenes. Uh, excuse me, stream. It's actually function underscore ran number, colon. And what do you think that is? 
How does well I don't want to ask you how a random number generator works. I, I honestly don't know. The well, only the only thing I know is that there's there's two things you need to know about randomness. One is some first year computer science student will give you an endless lecture from a YouTube video about how nothing's truly <laughs> random. Even though it doesn't yeah. matter at all, you're just rolling like a D6 for your Dungeons and Dragons ripoff. The other thing is that a lot of the time it has something to do with your system clock. Oh. oh. The system clock like provides a seed for the random number generator, which determines like where it starts on step one of the randomness and yada yada yada. So, so basically, you're saying Edmund McMillan stole from random number generator logic? Um, I think that it actually uses the seed or the seed in Isaac to some extent. I don't know if that was ever confirmed, but. It seems like it might use your system clock to influence it. Really? That's kind of cool. Good yeah, job, Edmund. Loot pinata back here. Ooh. Ooh! Chad, you've been too kind. I busted it. Oh. What was in it? Good stuff or bad stuff? Uh, some greens and blues. Oh, uh, see. <laughs> oh. Um. <laughs> I feel like I learned this from speedrunning, but like apparently uh, some games, at least older games, would have like just a random number that's always changing based off like movements and what's mm. what's loaded in and what's not loaded in, and that number is just always like every second or probably faster than every second, and it's just rapidly changing, and it just picks that number whenever it needs something random. I just you know, choose a number me. randomly from the top of my head. So whenever they want to, just ask me for a random number right now. Uh, could I get a random number, Ryan? Uh, yeah, between 1 and what? Uh, between 1 and 45. Uh, 32. There you go. That's See? How hard is that's that? That's because you like Peter Forsberg, and that was his number. That was not. Excuse me, Peter Forsberg one was 96. That is not one of my favorite one player, <laughs> for real. All right, I have a real question. It's going to sound like a meme, but I think we can maybe figure it out. So in Metroid... When you Resident. die, you got a you got a code. I got you. Isn't that uh, Mega Man? Ryan, come back. If only I had said something. I was smashing the button. <laughs> but in, in Metroid, when you die, you get like a 16-digit code. How can those 16 digits mark everything about your playthrough in an 8-bit game? I don't know. 16 digits. I mean, that controls for you know, like millions of possible variables, right? Yeah, but like is one, uh, the, how many guns you have? Two is your positioning, you know? Because it doesn't seem like it's, there's more information than 16 digits. I mean, oh. it's, there's 16 spaces for there to be like, you know, one of like 40 different numbers. Yeah, Ryan, but like, but are, there's more than 16, 16 variables in their gameplay, right? I see your point. Okay. Yeah. But no. I actually don't know how that works. Yeah. There's a lot of badasses around here, Dan. Can't don't pick worry. you up. Groban. Oh. All right. I could have picked you up if I knew that Groban was coming. Sorry. No, it's not your fault. I'm just split second. Oh, yeah. Oh, he blew big. Dude, this gun is nuts. Just give me this gun for the rest of the game, dude. We don't say nuts anymore. We say nutty. Professor. Nutty professor. You know they're making a new one. What is, it? what is it called? <laughs> Brian's got a got a funny name for it. Let's hear it. I don't have a funny name. They're making another one. Uh -huh. Eddie Murphy's back, baby. Some say he never really left. Uh, he left. Well, thanks for the mark. Slash mark. Oh, so you press X and you can mark enemies. You can, you can mark teammates, too, if you want to. Yo, you guys remember slash marker in the chat? PUBG days. Dan, I stole your idea for the clip show, by the way. Yo, someone told me and I said, you know what? That, that makes me happy. I, I'm interested to see your, your unique take on it. 
people self-serving to watch your own clips. I, it is weird. Now, Watching my own clips felt strange. So then I watched some clips of Dan reacting to clips on his clip show, and I was like, oh, now I get it. Okay. And I'm gonna do some clip watching of Ryan watching Dan. I think we should the post show, clip show, clip show. Post -show. show. Well, I show. did. I will say, like when I heard that, I'm like, it's a little bit. I just said my, for just for me personally, no judgment zone. It's a little awkward watching your own clips. Yeah. That's why I don't do it. No, I agree. Just for much anything that I me, ever. I mean, watching your own clips, I think, can be funny. Reacting to your own clips is very strange. <laughs> Yo, so what did you watch on it? Uh, NLSS clips? No, I watched uh, Y'all Afraid to Moan During Sex. I'm up in my girl's ear like, uh, Yahoo! Wahoo! And then uh, <laughs> my impression of Mathis got you pretty good. And, Yo, uh, I have I just hit the okie. I have you okie dokie on my soundboard, so I hit the okie dokie. <laughs> it sounded like you, but you didn't actually say it. Sorry, go ahead. <laughs> yeah. No, you, you or Dan could do this, but uh, you should go through and do like a clip show of the top clips view sorted by views for each on twitch community channel uh well there's already there's already rumblings i cannot confirm nor deny but at end of the year team unity tuesday post show clip show season one grand champion winner oh. I'm, I, I'm just the producers are sliding me the notes it's not confirmed but i'm not saying it's not i don't want to go up against uh mouth getting scared by lightning <laughs> or ooh, ah, 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 ah. that's another that's I like, don't know. I think you've got more vo more voters on your side though. Yeah, it's but not, those but are great I'm, clips. It's not about it's not about the voter, it's about the, the, the merit of the clips. It's a meritocracy. I think I think all in all it's all it's pretty tight. I don't have the exact winner numbers, but like it's been pretty well divided. The only controversy is that Josh won and Austin got the what do you mean Josh won? Last week. Yeah. What do you mean Josh won? It, it was Josh's thing, but it was a clip on Austin's stream, so Austin got the win. Didn't Austin have a partake in the clip? He laughed. He well, laughed. then that's that salty ball play. I don't know. You can be penalized for that. <laughs> there may be a 10% reduction in your vote today, Mel. Dude, we can make it 100. I don't care. <laughs> Jesus, these guys are tough. Yeah, man. I don't know if we were ready to go to space. Oh, freak. I will say, <laughs> not that, not that, bless you, Thank that, you. um, that I'm trying Ooh. to get Austin to turn on his cam. I do think turning on mouth cam and egg cam. Face gives you an and, advantage for sure. Yeah, it's another variable. Dead. Yeah, these guys are tough. Dude. All right, so we need to dial here, right? And slightly, maybe. Yeah. What is this shoot me thing? Is that, it's a big uh, bomb when your gun shoots out? No, it actually throws the gun, I think. Oh, maybe. Uh, the tank on the back of these big boys is a great one. Yeah. And don't be afraid to shoot the drone that heals the, the dudes. Yeah. Oh! What's up with this? You see Zenyatta over here? The Zero the Overwatch? The the Nog, the badass Nog. Yeah, Malf got him. This is chaos. It's a lot. Oh, I'm almost out of ammo. Get grenades, you got. Them. All right, we got one of the big boys. All right, I'm going. Thank God for Austin's dog. Eh. Oh, nice Groban. See why? See why? You guys are doing great. Keep it up.
Uh. Clutch, Groby. Nice, it's Groby. <laughs> oh, another Groby. Yeah, I got an upgraded one, so it's like I do it twice, twice once, but it does it twice. Ooh. Oh, yeah. Yo, did you guys see Lena Headey won an Emmy? For what? Best she did, drinker? She, did, she didn't, did she? <laughs> she won one in my mind. Oh. Best sip of wine. She won a Danny. <laughs> <laughs> so who Dinklage won? And... The who show. Else won? The show, that's it? Yeah. What did the show win for? Just best, best drama. Best show? Best drama yeah. series. It didn't. It didn't win any of the writing and the directing. No, was it? Was it best drama series specifically? Or? Yeah. Well, that's not best show. Well, there is no best show. There's best drama and best comedy. Yeah, but so, drama yeah. is better than comedy, so it's best show. <laughs> There's no best. I know, best. The show deserves, you know, for like its entire, you know, eight season run. It was gonna. It was never gonna lose that category. Yeah, it's one of the things that bothers me about those awards shows is that there's like, there's prestige associated with it, right? Legacy awards. Yeah, it's like Peter Jackson didn't win Best Picture or Best Director for Fellowship of the Ring or The Two Towers, which he should have. So they hook him up with The Return of the King, even yeah. though it might not have actually been 2003's best movie. But then yeah, next I mean, year just... they gave it to Crash, so that was much worse. They should just literally have a best, like, legacy award. Every year, they should just be like, they should redo one award from the previous year. So they're like, hey, you know, I know we gave you, <laughs> Leo, I know we gave you best actor for The Revenant, but we're going to go back. We're going to give you best actor for Catch Me If You Can instead. And we're going to give yeah, that like... to whoever deserved it for real. So if they're legacies, what's your explanation on Lita Heating not getting one? I mean, she deserves one for season five. I'll, I'll give you that. She didn't do anything last season except like look over a cliff longingly. Uh, yeah. excuse me? Spoiler? <laughs> Is it really a spoiler if nothing happens? <laughs> <laughs> I was shocked to hear there was some like, uh, oh, I missed. we shouldn't probably talk about it. The affairs of others that she was like dating one of the guys and then it, wasn't, yeah. it didn't yeah, go very well Brand so they couldn't be in scenes together yeah. yeah oh nice Groban Ron was also in an episode of Black he was in an episode of Black Mirror yeah a very main he's also episode. he's in John Wick 3 as well really yep. yeah yeah can you do a Bron Ryan or no no all you gotta do is say something really dirty. Braun became like a joke at the end of that series. Oh, yeah, he's like yeah. one of the worst characters. <laughs> like, before the Not final season, I'm like, this guy's really cool. In the final season, Braun is like Kramer. Like, he just kicks down the door with the crossbow and is like, you fucking cunts. And everyone's like, woo, Braun! Braun's oh, here, everybody! No, no, no one was wooing anymore. No one. <laughs> say the line about the castles. <laughs> Your sister promised me two castles. Fucking god, no, no character was worse than fucking angry pirate man. Also bad. <laughs> oh yeah. God. Terrible, terrible. terrible. The whole time. Angry dude, pirate like... man. <laughs> Three doors down, lead singer. Oh shit. He's just he. No, I'm not joking with you. You're not gonna believe me. You just going around slapping? This guy knocked me down and he did the Conor McGregor celebration with his arms. <laughs> he did the floppy arms Conor McGregor celebration. <laughs> the disrespect knows <laughs> no bounds. You're on gray joy. I, I mean, I don't wanna get too deep in his spoilers, but I don't like that he just, you know, Woke up pretty early in the morning and then got to wake up pretty early in the morning next to someone. And it wasn't even like a big deal. Nothing he did was a big deal except for all the things he did which were the biggest deals. <laughs> Please, Please red. It's uh, really popping off in here. 
Yeah, maybe if uh, one of us wasn't in their menu. Uh... uh, I'm sorry, I am doing some critical stuff. Holy. We should uh, maybe do some side quests, eh? We can get them. Yeah, we can get them. No, I mean like after this. Oh yeah, we got ball players. Yeah, but the jump off his boat onto the Greyjoys was cool. I don't remember that. Jamie Coster Wild. What's his real name? Walter Caster Reyes. Yep, that's it. His name is Walter Castor Reyes. <laughs> Austin, you know what it is. What is it? I don't know how to pronounce it. Oh. Uh, it's Walter Costa Reyes. I just said it. It's very simple. Nikolai Costa Wilder. <laughs> There's more. There are more. And do you like the actress or the character? Both. You seem dread. <laughs> Dude. Uh, Good. Nah. Good. You know, you should see it. She's like the female lead. Yeah. Is she's she good, good in it? it? Yeah, she's got a face scar. Trick question. She's good in everything. In <laughs> <laughs> uh, winning wars. Is um the, the SNL guy in dread? Rob Ryan? Carl Urban is the main actor. SNL guy. Bob Reiner? <laughs> yeah. What's his Are name? Are you talking about Bill Kyle? Hader? <laughs> he was in the initial Judge Dredd. So that's, oh, Rob Schneider. Schneider! Rob Schneider, yeah. <laughs> no, he's not. He's not. Oh. Uh, this one's good. <laughs> if I wanted to know Rob Schneider's opinion on anything in 2019, I'd put an American flag <laughs> in my Twitter account there. I've watched Wait, what? both seasons of... Uh, uh, what's the show? It's his Real show. Rob. Real Rob. Really fun time. Can you imagine in a day and age that you could come off Survivor or say Big Brother and then star in a major motion picture with, with Rob Schneider? Like a a box office multi-million dollar production. Can you imagine was that it, in 2019? Was well, it, like uh, it was Jerry, right? No, right. Colleen Haskell. She was in the animal. And it, yeah, and it bombed. So no one in reality TV got any big gigs. I mean, Let's I saw figure. it in theaters. <laughs> you did? I, yeah, of course I saw the animal in theaters. <laughs> Rob Schneider could do no wrong, dude. He was right off of uh, <laughs> coming off of Deuce Bigelow one. Yeah, and he's been in most Adam Sandler flicks. He pop, he pop anonymous. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good mouth line. <laughs> it's not my line, it's Rob's line. <laughs> oh yeah, there's the thing. One of the best lines in any Adam Sandler movie. I'll see if you guys can place it. There's this guy who goes, but they were cold. That's uh, Wedding Singer. Ooh, mouth. That's a cla That's one of my favorite. I, my brother and I say that all the time. I think people <laughs> probably think we're crazy. Do you that's think Adam line. Sandler is ever going to make a good movie. Seriously, like Uncut Gems. Spanglish, Spanglish is, is really good. No, it's Spanglish. Spanglish. Shut the yeah. fuck up about Spanglish. Oh, you shut up. It's Spanglish fine. Spanglish is so good. Punch Drunk Love is okay. I know Ryan hates that one. No, I, Punch Drunk Love is 10 times better than fucking Spanglish. Spanglish, what? he makes a freaking sweet ass looking egg sandwich and he cuts it open and he just wants to eat it and he keeps getting interrupted. It's and the, the lady, lighter side that of, was of Adam a long Sandler. time ago. Yeah, Spanglish came out in like I said 2004. ever again. He's, dude, Uncut Gems is getting great reviews from the film festival circuit. The trailer is that came Adam out Sandler today. It is. A, he's an Adam Sandler-led movie from the Softy Brothers, who also directed Good Time, starring Robert Pattinson. Softy Brothers? <laughs> I mean, that, that, that honestly, like, he can laugh at that one. That's pretty funny. Oh. Like, you'd expect them to own, like, an ice cream parlor or something. Yeah, it's yeah, something. Well, you'd expect someone named Giesling to be a freaking goose, but, you know, sometimes the expectations can be subverted. Apparently, uh, Shia LaBeouf's got 
two movies that are both uh, award. Yeah, dude. Uh, Honey Boy Honey and Boy Peanut and Butter Falcon. Yeah. yeah. Honey Boy. <laughs> God, they they both sound so indie. I hate it. Well, Honey Boy's like a what would he call it? Like it's, it's a based off of his his uh, his life and relationship. It's the rare autobiopic. If you want to see Shia LaBeouf's best movie, see the Battle of Shaker Heights. He was like 12 in it, and it's really good. Actually, no, you need to uh, watch Holes. Constantine is his best movie. <laughs> Isn't that with the uh, Van Helsing guy from Keanu X -Men? Reeves? Oh. oh, this turret's too strong. Oh, that guy's got gold on him. This turret is power incarnate. Can you mark it, Austin? I'll give you some daps okay. on it. I'm dead. I am also going to be dead. If you can, if you can eat back here to safety, I'll get you. Don't no, worry, I got it. Oh, no. His okay, best film is it. not the even sneakers movie. That's just madness. What is Adam Sandler's best movie? People are talking like it's uncut gems, honestly. Okay, so why is it Spanglish? There's no no one on Earth thinks that Spanglish is Adam Sandler's best movie. Oh, Happy Gilmore is probably his best. What Spanglish in the Spanish class? Oh, I watched it in English <laughs> class. So there you go. Wits has co contributed more to entertainment and academia. Also, we talked about this on the show on Monday. And I said Spanglish was his best movie. <laughs> I, I, it's not his worst movie, I can tell you that. Oh, absolutely not. I mean, if you're going like best Sandlery, Adam Sandler. For me, I still think it's Happy Gilmore, even though the CBC, CBC has ruined my enjoyment of that movie by playing it 35 times a day for the last 35 summers. Volkswagen! Happy Oh no! So many bad asses. Dan, come back. Waterboy is good. It's not the best. I still but it's think good. Click is one of the better ones. Click is, I, you know, oh, it gets Ooh! you. It gets you a little <laughs> bit in the feels. We're all dead. I still Plus, have never cried more at a movie in my entire life. Than Click? Black yeah. Panther? <laughs> click, uh, yeah, Click gets you. It, well, it's I never atrociously it. sad. Family comes for that. <laughs> <laughs> it gets me, dude. It's got Christopher Walken in it. Sean Astin. Mm. Sean in Astin's in it? Sean in his Speedo. Isn't that 50 First Dates? I might, he likes to wear Speedos. But he is in uh, Click as well. It was really heartwarming, I thought, when he uh, saw the girl running and her boobies were big, so he put it in slow motion so he could- Listen, you gotta set up. <laughs> okay, it was uh, the part of the time, all right? <laughs> I thought there was a the lot of- no. It was a very best... pathos rich moment. <laughs> the best is when he uses the remote to pause and then he just parts right in David Hasselhoff's face while he's eating salad. And then he unpauses and he's like, <laughs> Stacy! Yo, no, if you've been tuning in, thanks for, for tuning in for the hour long Borderlands 3 bounty. Thanks for dialing in. Gearbox Borderlands 3, we're enjoying it. Thanks for being here. Uh, is yours done? Yep, yeah, yeah, mine's done. Alright, no, I'm gonna start mine then. Alright, save some for the rest of the time. And thank you guys that jumped over, I appreciate it. Alright. Alright, we uh, have. What is it? Athos, right? Uh, it's the opposite of pathos. Yeah, it's it's uh, Starbucks' water. Is what I said. Austin, what's going on in your channel right now? What? Huh? What's going on in your channel right now? What do you mean? In general? Like, no, like, do you have something going on that people may want to know about? Not that I know. Who wants you to pimp your uh, Borderlands 3 back? Oh, I mean, I just did. I said I'm starting mine. What, what does that mean, though? What, if people come to join you, does that... What, it you means I like? get money. Oh, okay. Yeah, I well, like our money. Good, our good friend, Smart Dog, is, is uh, streaming Borderlands 3, if you'd like to check him out. 
advertise the next hour sponsored on his channel. It is. I leveled up. Oh, I'm like, some guns up here. 10% of a level behind now. Dude, I'm gonna be so sad when I, this gun, like, stops working, because this gun's amazing. So, you, you, are you guys all in accordance that click for someone who's never seen Click, it's worth a watch? I think it's one of the best Adam Sandler movies, which is not like you know hard it's, to do. It's but... in if there are two halves of Adam Sandler movies, it's in the better half. Yeah. Yes. This is this is the truth. It's better than the Cobbler. Yeah, but the what? Cobbler is one of the worst movies ever made. <laughs> it's it's quite bad. Do you, you know what? And I know I'll get some flack for this, but I quite enjoy You Don't Mess with Zohan. <laughs> I don't know why, but it gets me. The fizzy bubbly. <laughs> it's the fizzy bubbly. <laughs> oh, what is the cop? Is it about, about a guy who... Fix his shoes. Ooh. I still. Uh, oh, the cobbler. <laughs> Basically, yeah, his uh, his dad like was this cobbler, and then I think there's a secret gun. Go for it, dude. Probably. Go for it, man. <laughs> Wait, he's alive. What? Yo, there's a secret gun. In here. <laughs> <laughs> What'd you get? Uh, I. <laughs> I did get it. I did get it. I got a, um, I can't open. Uh, save me, save me. Thank I'm you. saving you, but I'm going to die too. Yo, thank you. Thank you. Oh, we got to get out of here, Dan. <laughs> I, made I didn't. I didn't make it, but I got guys, the gun. I'm just gonna like turn it off if that's cool with you. Oh, you can do that. Yeah, can you turn it off? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's a question. What's David Spade's best movie? Here's a scarier question. What's David Spade's uh, third best movie? His best movie is Without a Paddle. That is not David Spade. <laughs> No wait, are we talking like it solo is. David is Spade or he's like in that movie, Avengers? Isn't he? Maybe he's not. That's Seth. I thought they're all in it. David, they're three. David it's Spade him. is like older than that. He's much older than that. There's three actors in that movie. I must yeah, be confusing. Yeah, Max Shepard, Seth yes. Green, and yes, someone who's definitely not David Spade. <laughs> what if it is though? Oh, is it, um... Nice Groban. The guy who played Shag. Yeah, Matthew Lillard. Dame Lillard? It's Matthew Lillard from Hackers, who probably is, he like, David Spade's age. He also played Maniac in the movie directed by Chris Roberts, Wing Commander. <laughs> oh, Fine yeah, that is, Prince that's Jr. correct. <laughs> he, he did indeed. That was where Melf normally makes a Star Citizen joke. Sorry, no, I'm just switching <laughs> guns here. Um, yeah. Star Citizen. <laughs> <laughs> oh, got him. There's a little loot pinata back here. Yo. Oh, thanks, chat. Yo. Money, man. Save some cash for the rest of us. We all get the cash, bud. Yeah, but save, I want to pick it up. Doesn't feel right spending the money unless I earn it. Are you guys gonna play Sword and Shield? Yes. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, on or off YouTube stream? On. Ryan, you'll play it on, right? Yeah, I'll probably give it a try on at least. On Sunday? Yeah. Wherever it fits at the time. Sunday seems like a, a good day. Malfer, are you gonna play it? I'm gonna play it. Um, I don't know if I'll play it on stream or not. I have a thing about 
I don't like playing games on stream if everybody that I associate with is also playing. I just Black feel like it's, satu it's saturation, you know? It's like people... I think about the saturation. Just because there's like so much overlap, people only want to watch you like talk to Dr. Uh... O for the first time 20 times. <laughs> <laughs> This is my perspective. I'm not no, no, right yeah, no, but... no, that's a little inside baseball. That's good to know. He thinks Professor Oak's a doctor. Yes, yeah, any favorite Pokemon so far, Ryan, that you've seen? You haven't seen any of that yet. Um, Uber Bird. The bird that's an Uber. Oh, Corbinite? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Corbinite? Corbinite. Isn't that the name of somebody who votes liberal in the UK? You should see the bird the that spits things. I don't know. That's a How many generations of Pokemon are there? This, this is Gen 60. 8. 60? Oh no, this might be the ninth actually. It's, it's oh. the ninth? Close to double digits, yeah. I always forget which one this is. And there's what, about 100, 150 in each gen? Yeah. How many do you guys think you could name out of, say, there's 600? Maybe like half. Probably with, not even half, actually. With or without prompting, like. What do you mean prompting? Like, like you don't get to look at anything. You don't get to see their picture and name them. You just have to. No, no, from the just, top just of the their dome. picture. Just no, so you, you, you can see the picture. From the picture, yeah. I bet I could do four. Yeah. yeah, I could. I, honestly, I could probably do about the same. I, I have like a lot to... of trouble with like Gen Four and Gen Three. Would you guys like to accept the challenge? Oh, I only accept up to Gen Four. Well, that's not that's part not, of the deal. Well, then we're we're still negotiating the deal. <laughs> I'll know Gen Five when they all get added to Pokemon Go. Right now, I only know Dude, Gen Five is really good. I only know Lillipup, uh, Pat Rat, P Dove, and Clink. I'm I've... I'm not saying this to be funny, Austin, but a lot of them represent animals what, what? <laughs> like a lot of them are like vermits and stuff in this pokemon go series vermin still, still what still confused you just yeah they're they're based off of animals i know but not all of them are most of them yeah but not all of them some of them are like robots like, and i know but this one feels like there's a lot of animals in this all of one. them have lots of animals no but this one in particular it's got probably the same, like, proportion, I would say. They've only released, like, what, 15 or so from oh. Gen 5? Okay, I so did see one today called Fungus. <laughs> Yo, that's a good one. Do you know what his evolved form is called? No. Amoongus. <laughs> <laughs> it's one of my favorite named Pokemon. Good one itself is not very good, but it's got the best name in convention. I kind of like Lotans. Have you guys ever seen a Lotan? Oh, Lotan? Lotan? Yeah. 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 Dude, oh, you should see his evolved form. <laughs> yeah. He turns into the teenage Lotan. dinosaur from the movie, for the television show Dinosaurs. Really? He gets long hair and he stops showering. I have a Lotan. Oh, didn't something really funny, or like, by funny I mean strange, happen with that show? Uh, The dinosaur show? You mean the ending of it? Yeah, like something happened where it scared a bunch of kids or what yeah, happened. At the end of the show, they all die. All the dinosaurs die. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. They cause a nuclear winter, and they, literally the last scene is like them zooming out of their houses. They're all waiting to freeze to death. <laughs> it's a kid show. Yeah. It, it's show. made for all ages. AGIF. You ignoramus. <laughs> I will say the ending of Dave of the Gnome is equally as Pepe hand. It, gnomes live until 400 years old, and when they hit 400, then they go up on the top of a mountain and turn into a tree, AKA. <laughs> yeah. They get they eat it. <laughs> Wait, do they show like the nuclear, like typical nuclear wave? And no, dinosaurs? Oh. he like, so they, Something about like they're like building a power plant or yeah, something, and they build it on like, like they build it on an environmental thing, and they like 
through, and then that causes like a domino effect that fucks everything <laughs> up. Basically. And at the end of the I'm movie, it's like, it. whoops. Should, this, the, the moral of the story, don't, you know, don't disrespect the environment. It's not the most unfair thing in the world. Dan, I meant to ask you. Yeah. How old is Desmond? He's like two and a half, three, right? He's three, yeah. What does a three-year-old eat for dinner? Like, if you guys are eating, like, a normal adult dinner, what is Desmond? Yeah. Cut off hot no dogs. <laughs> no, a normal adult dinner. Really? Like, you gave yeah, him, like, like, a much uh, smaller portion steak? size? He's old enough, no? Yeah, like, chicken and rice today. That's what we had. What, did, what about when he was, like, one? Um, like, we don't, he just kind of eats what we have for, for the most part. But if like if we have sweet potato, like when he's real little, he had sweet potatoes. If yeah. we had sweet potatoes, but maybe not like, you know, the meat. Sorry. Glass of wine. <laughs> no glass <laughs> of wine. Dude, my I parents, had to... They were in town this weekend, and they made my uh, my favorite meal that they make, which is chicken pesto with artichoke hearts and then Alfredo pasta. So good. With or without nutmeg. With nutmeg. Oh, I dude, I I was redeemed when every time binging with Babish does a cooking episode based on like Alfredo or some similar pasta, he's like also secret ingredient nutmeg. You got it. It adds such flavor and spice to Alfredo. Is it really that a secret was, ingredient though, when it's the only ingredient in your pantry? <laughs> that was the first meme that I associate with nutmeg. It was the first, second, no. Third time I was on the analysis, counting the very, very long time ago one. Don't think about it. The first meme. First of the Andans. That meme is still annoying to this day. Not in the same uh, way. It's actually, no one ever says it anymore, but it's just the source of it. It's just, I was buying ingredients for a recipe. Following a recipe. I know we don't need to explain ourselves again, but nutmeg is a bizarre ingredient. What well, do you mean? apparently it's good for Alfredo. I don't know, man. Nutmeg is like um, it's like a dessert spice. It's like the yeah. poor man's cinnamon. I would not describe it as a poor spice or seasoning. It's it's off brand uh, cinnamon. I don't know. You could you could maybe find room in the top ten. Yeah, okay. But I'm like, you need to have, I mean, salt, pepper, obvious. You yeah, need, yeah, yeah, that was never the argument, really. You need cumin. That's an easy one. What does cumin taste like? Salt? That's a really hard question to answer. I realize. Is, yeah, what does anything taste like? <laughs> That's right. Like cinnamon tastes like an upgraded nutmeg. What does nutmeg taste like? <laughs> a downgraded cinnamon. All right, well, there you go. <laughs> Jeez, what does anything taste like? Yeah, welcome to the reality of, of subjectivity. What color is red? What does red look like? Dude, angry. Red, spicy. I, I read The Giver. I had to. I didn't want to. Sometimes I think about our world being upside down and we see it inverted. What I know we've fuck? talked about it before, but... Wow, because isn't that how your eyes work? They see it upside down and your brain yeah. flips it? <laughs> There's, There's no such thing as upside down. It doesn't exist. You no, but like... yourself like walking on the ceiling then? Yeah. <laughs> like when I really think about it, I do. Upside and, like, down. Gravity actually pulls you up and not down. The opposite of upright. It's just it's, it's subjective. There is no up or down. That's not subjective. subjective. So subjective. For Take someone that hasn't seen shot. the Matrix in a while, what does the red and blue pill represent? Uh -oh. The uh, red pill? Republicans and Democrats. <laughs> no, I'm serious. What does it mean? The red pill is when you. Uh, Lawyer up, hit the gym, and delete Facebook. Okay. The blue pill is <laughs> when you get a stable nine-to-five job where you're not making your own hours. 
So blue pill is like, you don't venture into the matrix. Yeah, correct. blue is. Well, you don't, you don't venture better. out of the matrix. Okay. So I saw something that was called like, I don't know, it was an ad, like the red pill podcast. Oh, like, no. Oh, no. No, no, I'm not bringing it up, but I just, it, I just saw it. I'm like, that's a Matrix thing, right? It, it, it was. Been it used to be. Yeah. Yeah. What does co-opted mean? Now Stolen. you use oh. the saying that you uh, have taken the red pill as a way to insult people who disagree with you. Uh, and say that you're the only one seeing reality. They're choosing to live in a, a fictional fantasy land. So in the Mostly Matrix, about. which one, which one do they take? They the take pill. the red pill. Oh. Because it breaks the reality, is that? Yeah. Okay. Except in this case, the reality is, you know, uh, respecting women. Wait, so that's what it evolved into? Yes. What? Wait, so it went from being about a movie to like issues? Mm. <laughs> the people who thought of it, yeah, they got issues. About issues. Say it that way. Well, I mean. I don't venture down that path, but, you know, talking about issues. I mean, today specifically would be a really interesting day to talk, talk about issues. Why is that? Why is that? I don't know. It's September 24th, you know? Is this an American thing? Is that your birthday? No. Oh my god, what am I doing? This is a terrible place to die. When people talk current events, it's like when someone that doesn't watch sports goes DAE sports ball. What can I say for DAE current events? That's what What I try to do is just yeah. remind uh, chat that I don't live in the United States of America. So oh. sometimes you've got I'm... your own issues with, with that kind of thing going on right now. We'll see what happens in October. The way I see it, there's like, uh, there's a couple of good ways that election could shake out, and then there's the other way the election could shake out that would probably mean I would pay a lot less tax. So in many ways, it's kind of like a win-win. Think of it this way, with the news today, we won't hear about the election for a couple months. It'll be a good distraction, you know? Oh. These guys aren't dying, by the way. Oh, I'm you know. I'm nated myself. Please, please stop killing me. <laughs> I am just absolutely sick of dying, dude. Now that's a clutch roll, and you might have saved my life without you even Thank realizing you. it. No, no, I realize it. Uh, I realized back in high school. I did a thing this one time I still haven't told Ryan about uh -oh. that might have saved his life. Is that when you told me, uh, hey, there's a deer on the road, but I'd already saw the deer? You, okay, here's the thing. So, nine times out of ten, I would drive Ryan around. The one time. What? I drove you around me. more than once. Okay, two out of ten times. But. He was driving me home, and there was a line of cars, and they passed a deer, and the deer was on the left side, and Ryan wasn't making any moves until You're I not said so. You're supposed to let them know you see them. <laughs> you don't know. And I had to say that you know, it was like I didn't want to be a front seat, dang front, dang seat driver, but uh, I was like, there's a deer there. <laughs> and then he started to like. I knew out. there was a deer there. <laughs> Obviously. I don't know. <laughs> Dude, did I tell you? I think I probably told you at the time I was driving our friends, uh, one of our future friends, to school in the morning. And, uh. What the fuck? Uh, he was going to the bus, and I was like, oh, I'll, I'll just pick him up because I was like driving up behind him. So I stopped. It took him like five seconds to get in the car, and yeah. then we were driving around like to, towards the, the, the school. And it was also like a really windy day, and a tree fell right in front of us. Like, <laughs> and it was like, it was within like five seconds. So, like, if I hadn't stopped to pick him up, I'm almost dead right now. That's baby. crazy. 
Yeah. That's fake. And then Mantis would it. still be on Team Unity. <laughs> <laughs> we don't talk about that. <laughs> Things would be so much better. There's a gunner class mod there. Yo, staying, uh, staying topical, can I tell you, share with you guys something that made me smile ear to ear? I and it was so bizarre. But I was, I was driving to the offices like relatively early, like 7.30ish. And I saw two little doe just munching on some guy's okay. flowers. And I'm like, like, I haven't smiled from ear to ear from like a random thing like that in so long. Why does nature, like where it does, I don't want to say it doesn't belong, but where you don't see it, why does that make you smile? That's a great question. That ever happened to you guys? Like you see a frog hopping along and you smile or no? Uh, Dogs yeah, like all the I time. Like, I like nature. You ever see like a, a dog just minding his own business? You're like, that's a cute dog. Dude, like like a wild dog? No, oh my god, no. Oh, I, no. you run, you run when he's yeah. Here. I tweeted about uh, when I I went into the the barber shop. Like I sat within two seconds. This cute little dog uh, hopped up on the bench, and then he put like his two front legs like on my leg, and he just he just stood there, and he was just chilling with me, Yo, and that made me is, really happy. Yeah. Yeah. It's, uh, the cows, yeah, and then his owner was getting his hair cut, and we started talking about dogs and social media. Talk about the leaves? No. What is happening? Tag him, boys. What, what button's tag? Oh, there you go. I tag. X tags? X. X, okay. Nice probing on him. Thank you. Like I said, I am on. Oh. Wow. Oh, right. Austin, to give us an update. How's the walking around and in Texacana doing? Uh, I'm still waiting for it to be like I'm. I've been going out almost every day, but I'm still. I've been just... seeing. I've been getting gifts every day. Yeah, I mean, I'm. I'm sad. I'm probably gonna miss today because it's gonna be too late by the time Unity's over. But you're gonna lose that streak. I already lost the streak. But I had parents in town, and we were having a busy day. I didn't get to go out. Is the there streak? like nothing available in your house, like around your house? Oh like, no, no, no! It's not really. Not close. Dude. I'm like. Uh, Elf's living we're... in the mecca of Pokemon <laughs> Go and doesn't play. I, I just got sick of it. Well, he got that Mewtwo. Oh, yeah. Dr. Oak like, gave him a Mew 3, and then it was like, what's the point? The, uh, I'm telling you, though, like, I wish I lived closer to uh, a place like the Domain. It's, what's uh, the Domain? I talked about it earlier. It's the, it's all the oh, okay. It's called, oh, that's what it's there. called. Okay. Yeah. Because I would, I would play Pokemon Go there, like, every Day. There's a so like the crazy thing was that it wasn't any kind of community day or anything, but when we walked up to like a raid, there were like always 20 people there at the raid. Oh, yeah. It was crazy. Yo, I got a I got a uh, mechanical deep min max Pokemon Go question for you guys. Sure. So I have those Pokemon from 2016 with the gold badge. Yeah. Is there any point in keeping them? Because they're like. Not three stars. You should trade them to uh, other people for other old Pokemon, and then you uh -huh. get, uh, they're guaranteed to be lucky Pokemon, which means they take half as much Stardust and candy, I think, to level up. Even if the oh, stats okay. are bad, people will still value them pretty highly. Okay. But only if you trade them to someone else, they have a chance to become lucky? Yeah. Okay. So you were saying trading a shiny, right? How does that work? When you trade a shiny, it re-rolls the shiny stats, but it re-rolls them within a range, I believe. So I don't think you can turn like a low one star into a three star or anything like that, but... So a zero star still be worth it. Yeah, but you can still swap it to somebody who has a zero star, and then you can both get one stars. Eh, I mean, one star is still not usable, though. It could be. It depends. But I understand your uh, your sentiments. 
I'm just like I I I'm still stuck on the fucking battle someone quest. <laughs> I can't battle anyone. Yo, this game is so much better with no voice prompts. Dude, I know, right? Yeah, and we can actually talk. There's been actual banter. Yeah. It's like, what was the highlight of your last 14? 14. You're uh, rabbing a bit. Yeah, it's just anytime uh, the game loads literally anything. Mm. Is that funny, Mel? Yeah. Are you guys using the extension or no? No. Nah, no. I was gonna, but... I keep I track your kills for the session. I keep asking chat how many we got. I don't think I want to know. <laughs> I've already doubled last week, so... Hey, this is start. Yeah. Maybe next week Which I don't kind of get in a four. <laughs> It's a good clip. <laughs> Logistics engineer. <laughs> oh, oh. What? I want to pick up the gun. Did you see that this uh, is the highest selling game in 2K history? Yeah. In its first Really? Day. I was stunned. Like, not, not that I expected the game to tank or anything like that. But I was very surprised to see it. Like, I assumed 2K would be, like, way above anything else 2K has done. Why? Well, I, I mean, apart from... Uh, I bet like it's higher grossing. But... I just... I'm we surprised gotta... Borderlands 3 is more popular than the average NBA 2K release. <laughs> no, 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 I don't mean it to be rude. It's just well, those sports I mean, games are like insanely popular. Yeah, yeah, but they both have gambling now, so. It's true. They're making money hand over fist. I'm just gonna I will say, I, as someone who doesn't, I very haven't actively promoted my Epic Games creator code. I was very surprised to see how many people used it. Great. How many people have. Uh, have you said? More than anything I've ever had, <laughs> affiliate-wise. And I don't even talk about it. This is like over 25? Yeah. What? Wow. Dude, that's really good. You guys are all not here. I mean, I just died, so... Creator like, code, Dan Geek. We were, were uh, <laughs> Dan and I got stuck fighting some dudes. Yeah, we were fighting dudes. I was... I mean, I've been with you. I just died. Yo, do you hear this music? Probably from the boss fight we're supposed to be at. They're fighting a boss? <laughs> I don't know if it's a boss, but yo, they got some gotcha machines. This sounds like right out of uh, the YouTube audio free ga uh, gallery. <laughs> dunk, dunk, dunk. Is this a uh, Diamond Ortiz? <laughs> yo, I didn't tell you about that. I don't play any more di Diamond Ortiz lately. Oh, what happened? Well, I reached out to him. I'm like, hey, you know, I want to work out something with your licensing. Yeah. And uh, he kind of gave me a, you know, a no. Like, he hit you with a no. I mean, it was like, I don't want to talk about personal stuff, but it was like, he was asking for like Suge Knight money. I'm like, um, like, I'd like to <laughs> license some of the music, but, and I'll gladly pay. But does he know, you know? That it's free. It's free. <laughs> <laughs> so I just don't play his stuff anymore, which is fine. I get it. Yo, I know what my highlight of the past week is. Yo, what is it? Yo. So uh, there's an individual who hangs out, uh, Appa, in, in the chat, and he's in this sweet band in Australia. And they, you know how like when people sub it, I have that little like horn. Doo -doo 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 -doo. Oh yeah, I saw. They, they played that also while wearing one of my shirts <laughs> and they recorded it and it's freaking good. And you know, 
I just liked it a lot. It what is my... the horn noise from? It's just like uh, a song for years I've been using, using this website. It's called freesound.org. <laughs> <laughs> it's not that funny, but uh, okay. <laughs> you know, when I made Dragon Slayer Doppelganger, all the like punch and kick sounds are from there and like some of the thunder sounds and stuff. So like whenever I've like needed some kind of like random clip or something, I, I go I got there you. and, and uh, uh, so that's where the, the original thing is from. I don't got you. It's rough. It's hard out here. We gotta um, mark uh, what we're shooting so we can work together. Did you just <laughs> say you made a Dragon Slayer, do Slayer doppelganger? I made, well, I mean, like, I wrote it I mean, and he made directed it. and edited it. Yeah. Well, yeah. What about all the other people that worked hard and toiled for it? They acted in it. That doesn't mean oh. they made it. Yeah, nobody else did anything. I mean, I've seen parts of it. I listen. You can say what you want. You can talk up your little uh, student movie, but until we get I, to see it, dude. Uh, the only thing that's been released is it's about a, a drug deal gone wrong. That's very Minkist. And it was directed, written. It's an ensemble cast. That's all I'm gonna say about that. There's there's tropes in it. There's uh, what's this stuff? MacGuffins. And, and I just gotta save it from the VHS monster. <laughs> Better hurry. Wow, this is uh, rough. Yeah, we're pretty much getting destroyed here. Well, apparently we haven't done any side quests and they really benefit you. Well, we've been, like, once we're on the moon, I thought we'd kind of just stick it out, finish the moon, and then move on like DuckTales. We can get them here. Banal says we're five levels under what we're supposed to be for this point. What? These guys are all level 16. There's 10 levels us. I, yeah, but I I'm level we're supposed to be higher level than them. No, no, we don't tell Banal how to play Evolve, all right? Because you can. He's like literally one of the best. <laughs> yeah, but does he have the Evolve shirt from 2K Games Triple Game Extravaganza 2014? <laughs> um, Thank you. I doubt it. It's like the best promo shirt I've ever gotten. Still fits nice. None of the like decals have been pulled off in the washing machine. It's a dream come true. Yo, we gotta just tar- can we target someone? I did. Okay. Are you in a different instance than me? I died. Okay. Dead. Trying to save Melfi. Here, I'm gonna not- let's not jump down, Austin, until they die and jump down. Okay. Let's- let's all we go We gotta kill together. the small ones first. Yeah. You gotta get any kill, it's a good kill, yeah. See this? That's pretty cool. Oh, I have a skill point. All right, so we're jumping down at the same time. Let's do it. A three, a two. All right, Austin, will you mark? Mark somebody and I'll rope them. That's unity. Much better. Tag him and bag him. Where's the next one? There he is. Oh, yeah. Bam! Headshot! Yo. No, not the big one. Okay. The one right okay. Here, this one right here. Well, I got a little hasty. This guy's an equivalent size. Well, yeah. I just meant that one had a lot more health. No, no, I'm fine. Come on. You're good. I'm watching the missiles. You're fine. I'm gonna die. You're okay. You're okay. I, I just. <laughs> We got a guy tagged or are we getting after Biggie? Tagged. 
Okay. Oh. Out of Amos. Hang in here. After we finish this, should we travel back right here, right here. to the sanctuary? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Get this flying asshole. Oh, level six. Ladies and gentlemen, we got him. Oh, keep pumping him. He's on the run, boys. <laughs> He's on the run. Pump him. Uh oh. Hellfire missile. No, 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 no. Where are you guys at? It's me. All right. I had died. I had to run back. Yo, you guys should go check out this. There's a lot of loot that just dropped. A lot oh. of loot. It looked like somebody must have cracked oh. open a pinata or something around here. I don't know. There is a missile launcher called Three Way. <laughs> oh, we gotta defend the ball. Defend the ball. Do you guys have any commentary on Takashi 69? Uh, I think he's <laughs> not a good person. My commentary. Uh, for did you see the news today where they're talking about putting him in the witness protection program? <laughs> <laughs> Everybody has the exact same thing to say about that, which is. The man has his name tattooed on his forehead. <laughs> forehead. <laughs> oh, okay. Keep shooting. Keep shooting. Keep shooting it. Dude, my sniper just banging. Bang. Level 16 sniper. That's cool. <clears throat> You're looking at the best peeler this side of Michigan. Dan, don't make fun <laughs> of my clip. <laughs> <laughs> and it is a jester. You're the jester. <laughs> You're looking at the best jester this <laughs> side of Michigan. <laughs> I just love your sheer joy when the guy crits. Dude. You're like that. <laughs> I mean, you're from the uh, uh, Dark Sun. Yeah, right? yeah, it's a good game. Yeah. So, like, with the Jester, right? Could you, like, you get him to do all the, uh, you know, all the uh, the solos on the banjo, and he builds up. He builds up his his crit and his damage, and then he just he just he gives us the final solo, and it's so satisfying. And Ryan is now the finisher. Ooh. Because be he just first. goes in and does like the last 10 damage when Austin has done like 50 damage the... Sounds like Ryan. The turn before. <laughs> My question is, why are you the Hound Master and not Austin? I, I, that was my original idea. And then chat said, no, Austin can't be the Hound Master. Because yeah, he's the Hound I'm the Hound Master. You're the, yeah, it awesome. turns into the, yeah. Abomination, is that it? Yeah. Yeah. Kind of a rude name when you think about it. Yeah, it, it is, it it is like, I felt bad, but it's like, you know, oh. you're, you're literally like the biggest damage dealer, so. And you turn into a wolf, right? I mean, what is it actually? It's wolf-like. It... I, I don't know if it's like, yeah. Can we talk about this sax? It's really good. I like it. It's really good. <laughs> Without all the dialogue, I can really appreciate it. <laughs> Are there any musical guests playing at TwitchCon this year? Yeah, and Lil Nas X. Oh, I wonder what he's going to play. 
probably Panini. It's number one for the last two weeks. Uh, did you? When do you guys get the pinata? Someone no. said there's a pinata down here. I gotta, I gotta, I gotta do some inventory stuff. Give me a second. We're probably going back. I imagine. That yeah, I need to. I need to sell things. Yeah, to go back, I don't sell, drop. optimize. I'm surprised that the quest doesn't say I'm a fire lady. Dude, I'm thinking it might. I'm just stunned at how much better the game is with no dialogue. Oh, boss battle? Like, I hate to say it because it's incredibly insulting to the amount of people that worked on it, but like, it's ten times better with <laughs> the dialogue on zero. <laughs> okay. okay. Good tag. I wasn't sure what we were supposed to shoot. Hey, you know what? Doesn't the tag <laughs> giving us uh, guaranteed crits or something? I don't think so. I don't know though. Probably does. Thanks. Yeah, now I know what to shoot at. Immune, immune, immune. Resist. I gotta have like a weak spot, eh? Probably that big eye. Gonna take my bump, a dunk, a dunk. I kinda hate that song. Afternoon delight. Uh, that is the afternoon bang. delight. To me, that's what that sound sounds like, the opening. Gonna take my horse. Gonna take my horse and a to the horse. <laughs> <laughs> Afternoon, Takashi. Would it kill them to put like an ammo vending machine on the moon? It's an entire celestial body. I just would like one more opportunity to give my hard earned money for the ability to shoot my gun. Yo, Ryan, did you kill your macros and eat one of those donies? No, not yet. I might tonight, though. I was telling chat that I, I hit a, a weight milestone. Like, uh... In terms of body weight. or lifting? Yeah, in terms of body weight. I'm, I weighed what in 91.1 1 kilograms last night, which is uh, just over 200 pounds American. <laughs> what? <laughs> You're six... Foot and a half, six foot, six I'm one, five, five, ten. ten. No, for real. Oh, I'm not, never mind. I gotta reduce the toe walking, dude. <laughs> five, <laughs> ten, two hundred. Yeah, it could probably at some point when I get tired of trying to be strong, I could probably stay in the cut like uh, maybe 25 pounds off, but I'm, I'm enjoying you... easy strength gains as well. Are you undoubtedly in the best shape of your life right now? Oh, I, by far, yeah. No, I've, I've been leaner in my life when I cared about like having an abdominal muscle that's visible. But in terms of- And now of, what, like, you're more Jack? Yeah, yeah. Oh, oh congrats. How's it been, what, that six months? More than that. Uh, yeah, like nine months. I feel like you're kind of like biohacking a little bit too. Not like super biohacking, but you're being smart about decisions. Yeah, I mean, it's not that hard. I saw you vacuum that up, by the way, Austin. I saw you dice vacuum. it. What up? Uh, the gold you and the vacuum. You vacuumed it. It's called the Sublime Tsunami, and the flavor text is, you can't explain that. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like you're allowed to vacuum as long as you power slide into it. I think no rules for vacuuming. You're good to go as far as I'm concerned. Back to Sanctuary. It's just that easy. Yo, since you've been pumping on creatine, do you notice like um, an advantage to doing that? I think like, um, well, like once I finish my creatine loading phase, whether it's a placebo or not, I have no idea, but my lifts got a lot easier and I probably put on like five pounds of weight over two weeks or so. It's because you've been eating pancake mix. You have been drinking pancake mix by accident. But, uh, I mean, it's it's water weight due to the creatine, to be fair. But, like, it also has a performance impact, for sure. 
Have you, uh, and I don't mean this in like an aggression way, have you ever had any like rage moments There's where you just no got done one... pumping? Creatine does not give you void rage. Uh, I'm not saying from the creatine, I'm just saying from lifting where you just like, you just hit like a legendary set and you're like, Absolutely not. And when Never, I like... when I see guys do that in the gym, I just <laughs> laugh every time because I'm like, "Why are you taking yourself so seriously, dude? You just picked up like a an artificial weight and put it back down. Like, you know, it's not that big of a deal." We've done it. What about internally? Were you like, not really. Anything? No. Thing? No, no, it's just you just said like you just said a PR any percentage world record speed lift is definitely heavy not percentage. A, it's not a, a WR. No, but PB, PB, yeah. and you don't like you don't give like an internal fist bump or anything. Fist I'm, bump? I'm still at the point where I'm setting like a PB once a month. Every so day. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, boys, it's gambling time. No, it's not. What? It's always gambling time. We just got a bunch of good guns, though. What? You lagged. God damn it. Fire level 17. Ooh, I'm starting to get elemental weapons. I don't know which is good and which isn't. We got I mean, we're, we're, we're situating our shit anyway, right? I have a Beastmaster yeah, yeah, yeah. class mod. Someone want it? That's uh, that's for Austin. Uh, yeah. If it's what is it blue or green? <laughs> oh, then nah, nah. <laughs> Sorry about that. No, that's. I mean, it's just the way it is. You know, don't get out of bed for the for the anything but blues. Yeah, he's absolutely right. I'm just gonna We're starting sell to get elemental stuff. Everything in my inventory. Why am I like I'm holding things? And I'm like, well, when I'm level 27, I'm gonna take that. It's gonna be like 30 hours until I get to level 27. You think I'm not gonna find something, you know, more valuable? <laughs> oh no, my. I think there's a bank. My may yeah, but I'm gonna put this in the bank. So when I hit somebody with melee, it'll do 50% more poison damage. Who cares? <laughs> it, it's like people in chat were like, oh shit, I sold one of my equipped things again. <laughs> people in chat were like, you missed a chest. And I'm like, there's infinite loot. There's a billion guns. Hmm. Austin, what is... You know what the bank looks like? I don't know where it is in this game, though. I need to buy a good shield, though. Where do you buy things like shields? Uh, You can gamble at the shield machine. No. <laughs> where do you buy? Is it from the gun store? Uh, he might. I don't know, actually. It's from the I need heal a machine. And I'm just gambling for freaking shields. I already got a grenade mod. That's pretty cool. Oh. Oh. You, get it, you get excited when you get the legendary one pop up, you know? Legend. Oh. Oh. Now that's a scope, dude. It's oh, a, I, we each have our own room. Uh, <laughs> I totally forgot, but I did play like all of Borderlands the pre-sequel. And now I'm like, I'm remembering, you know, I'm getting my ass kicked. Go buy uh, shields. And then if you're not killing things fast enough, buy guns. You're running out of ammo, you can buy ammo SDU upgrades. That's the good stuff right there. You at least gotta play the purple machine. Let's see how much iridium I have. <laughs> Ooh. 
Ooh, ooh pies. Oh, it's a grenade. Don't talk shit about the pre-sequel. That was the second of three games that I played at the 2K game Trinity Extravaganza. Legendary operative class mod. That's you, Ryan Gary. You want it? Um, yeah, I guess. What's the required level? Orange. I'll take it. <laughs> uh, it is 16. Oh, dude. It seems like an incredible get. Oh, I got Thank ball you, player. Daniel, in return, Welcome. I will drop something for you. You ready? Uh, yeah, yeah. Let me just see what... Dude, that's so good. It gives you four levels of something. That's, that's so good, dude. Now, I, you know, you make me feel like a piece of garbage. This is all I got in my inventory. <laughs> Uh, take those Roid shield. Take those to the junk hole. You know what, Dan? You can have my next slot machine victory. Okay. As long as it's not a grenade. Okay. Like well, a live grenade. You get the right of first refusal. Austin, can you get your dog out of here, dude? Shut up. <laughs> well. <laughs> oh, here you go, Dan. It's a it's Ooh. an epic grenade. Epic grenade. Splits into I'll two grenades in flight, pulls enemies in, jumps one time, plus ten percent damage per jump. Yo, that's nuts. Dude, oh, thank you. Go for it. It's all yours. Cost me forty seven iridium. <laughs> all right, chat. While they're gambling, I'll I'll load up some quests. What yeah, find I... us some some side quests. So I just tab, log. Hey, just pop one onto our. our... Quest tracker. Let's. Thing. We're all like level 15, 16. So let's do technical Naga. Oh. It's a level oh. 14 mission. Oh my god, you guys. There's one mission here called Kill Wick and Wardy. You, <laughs> you, you roboted right when we needed it. Kill Wick and Wardy. <laughs> <laughs> we, we, we have to. All right. Recommended level 16. You guys said you don't think I would like the cartoon Rick and Morty. Yeah, I, think, I don't think you'd like it. I don't think you would dislike it. I don't know. Like, I don't think you'd like it. It's not like you have to have like a high IQ to understand. What are you trying to say? By the way, now that we're finally getting elemental weapons, it's kind of like Pokemon, uh, except shinies. Uh, no, uh, electrical is good versus shield. Corrosive is good versus armor, elemental. and fire is good versus flesh. But you're just getting elemental. I mean, I'm right. starting to see it more often now. I'm moving. Oh. I'm fast traveling in 15 seconds, so prepare yourselves. Get one more, one more pull, one more pull. Yeah, I need a pull. I need I'm gonna start the countdown now. One more pull, one more pull. Five, four, three, two, one. All right, I don't know. You got a little bit more time because I don't actually know how to get to where I Dan, to you go. left your you left your win. Nothing came out. So on the side, there you go. You got a big old rocket. Oh. Thank you. Thank you. Hit X. Are we gonna go kill Wick and Wardy or not? Look, give me a fucking second, okay? <laughs> we have to go to Promethea, and it makes Dan very afraid. I got just got very excited when Promethea's. <laughs> I'll do one. I'll go purple pull, just one. Oh, uh, Minak. What are those things called? Madak. Madak. Oh, yo, yeah, that's my purple bull. Get this dog out of here. They're in Meridian, not the Skywell. Dan. Yeah. What is your, like, favorite Halloween time movie? 
Do you have like a Halloween movie Ooh. or like movies? You know, I'll give you a top three that you you feel like you gotta watch every year or or frequently. <gasps> oh, Ooh, uh, pick it up. Um, Halloween. I don't know. I like watching Saw on Halloween. Really? Yeah. What about you? You pulling my leg, buddy? Oh. Yeah, you are. No, I'm not. Yeah, you are. Ryan. Why would I? Why would I pull your leg about saw? This is a damn thing to Ryan. do. Dude, what? How do you use? You this? like saw? Okay. Uh, how do you use really the map to find out where oh. the current objective is? Why are there 15 buttons on the screen and none of them is? Hey, just pilot me to my current objective. Would you like to sort destinations by uh, walkability score? Uh, that's probably here. Yeah, it's here. Did anyone talk to Moxie? Cannot fast travel. Allies in a menu. Wait. Okay, go. How do you spend so much time in the menu? Someone uh, canceled it, so I have to uh, do it again. I didn't cancel it. I also did not cancel it. That's a narrator. Incredible shotgun. He did cancel it. Cannot fast travel. Ally is in a menu. It's Dan. Daniel. I'm just getting a couple, couple sales. Just a couple sales. That's the first time I've ever been caught in a menu. Okay, okay. We're good, we're good. Yeah, you want a duel, Ryan? The timer stops and I thought someone opened the menu again. I tried. I'm gonna go grab a cold one and I'll be right back. You know, that's a good idea. I'll grab a cold one as well. Don't leave without me, please. I need the XP. I need to soak. Yeah. You all right? I'm just stretching, you know. Don't you ever sometimes you have a stretch so good it scares you? Because you're like, I don't know what life is going to be like when I'm not stretching. Ryan, are you stiff? What do you mean? <laughs> no, he is. Like, do you stretch after you throw the guillotine? Uh, I do not, no. So I was just thinking, a couple months ago I was talking some smack, saying I could beat you in a box. Yeah. And I'm like, I was when I got to get something to drink, I'm like, maybe I can re would reconsider that, but now since you said you're stiff, I, I'm said still I, sticking to it. I said I'm not stiff. No, but if you're not stretching after you're throwing grams around, you're stiff. I thought there was... Uh... Some, there's new science on stretching, which says that it's fucking a waste of everybody's time. Oh. <laughs> that's that's the way I understand it, at least. Hmm. Yeah, and eating eggs makes you fat. I don't know what that, that has to do with anything. They always go to go on this stuff. Eggs good, bad for you. Ba eggs bad for you. That's uh, probably the most boomer joke of all time. Oh, I didn't is, say it what wasn't. are we supposed to? Say? Well, how are we supposed to feel about say. eggs? People, uh, people. The jury's been out on eggs for years. Everybody knows eggs I are good for you now. Well, what about stretching? Hasn't the jury been that's pretty good for you? Yeah, but they don't know what they're talking about. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I love eggs. I don't care if they're good for me or bad. They're good for you. What if I ate 20 a day? It's probably too much, but I think you'd still, you know, if you're eating them instead of eating other stuff, you're probably totally fine. I guess what I've, oh, okay. All right. We gotta get going. What I had heard is, uh, that eggs being bad for you was like collateral damage in the 80s and 90s when everybody thought that fat made you fat. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. But I was watching That's some twitch.tv slash hungry today, and they were making cabbage rolls, and then, you know, the, one of the ladies was like, it's the great thing about cabbage is it's low fat. And I was like, it's a, it's a leaf. Of course, <laughs> it's, it's, it's like probably no fat. Well, yeah. it was like infinitesimal, minuscule amounts. Ryan Peepee, invent this <laughs> He's absolutely right. 
How do you guys feel about the word glomki? What does it mean? Anyone? I've, I've heard it before, but I don't know what it means. It's a stuffed cabbage. Oh. Stuff is uh, called glomki. Oh, what is this? I mean, I love cabbage rolls. Excuse, Enter excuse me, Battle Mark. Royale. What? I don't know. Are someone keeps changing the quests. It's not me. Not me. I'm killing Wick and Wardy. Yeah, but we're in the Battle Royale section. Oh, someone said we should do this one too. Can we just make it the active quest then? I'm getting attacked by dudes, so I'm fighting them. What the heck is that? Uh. Psycho Mantis. Get that trash up in the air. <laughs> no. It's just too easy. Malf, what are you gonna do in the winter when all your peps go belly up? Uh, I thought about trying to grow just like a couple indoors. I um, grow panics? No, like in a pot. It you can grow oh them indoors as Lord. long as they get enough sun. But uh, I mean, I got all my other indoor plants, and I'm gonna just like I'm getting some of the aquariums finally set up, so that'll. Keep oh! Yeah. Can I, are you gonna have Team Unity the fish and see which one lasts the longest? Um, I mean, uh, hopefully they all last long, yeah. but. Get more beta fish? No, that's like <laughs> animal cruelty. Of the oh, it is? Order. Beta fish are? Well, if you put four males, like, they're very tutorial. So this should really be called like, alpha fish, right? Alpha fish, yeah. Now, are you going salt water or fresh water? Always fresh. Always fresh. <laughs> Can I be an um, angel fish? So, that's down the road, but um, I, I do actually want to have a larger community tank with some angelfish so when that happens, down the road like i'm gonna get some other smaller aquarium set up first which like what 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 are they gonna be the starter fishies well this one is just uh, my plan is a pair of pygmy uh grammys uh what are and, those in for first grade vernacular well grammy is a type of like labyrinth fish they're they're so like you know a beta is a labyrinth fish like they got a lot of uh, feathery fins. Um. Well, no. The labyrinth part. It's just like they. Uh. They like will go to the surface and like go bear and shit. So, I don't know. There's probably more to it that I'm forgetting. But do they look um, like goldfish or what do they look like? Coloration. Um. Coloration. Well, depends. I mean, there's a lot of different ones. You can get like there's red honey, gold honey, garamis. There's pearl garamis. There's kissing garamis. The pygmy Grammys are also known as sparkling Grammys. They're the smallest one, and they sparkle. <laughs> Can they you kinda... name one Gorlami? Gorlami. Uh, <laughs> I'll think of it. Yeah, I could name the dude Gorlami, but what would I name the female? Uh, Jennifer. What about Jenny? Jennifer Yaniston. Dan, who's your favorite Jennifer? Mm -hmm. Fuck you, it. Honestly, definitely in the mix. Garner? Connolly? No. No. Connolly. What are some other good gens? Lopez could be yeah. up there. Nah. What do you mean? She's multi talented. Have you seen, uh, what's that, Geely or whatever? Giggly? Geely? Have you seen Hustlers? <laughs> I haven't, but I, uh, I hear it's very good. Yeah. Did you see it? No, but it's probably on the list for a date night. I'm gonna take Desmond and see us. Hey, just gentlemen, we got him. Uh, what other ge good Jennifers are there? Uh, Capriati. 
A uh, soccer player? Or, she's a soccer or tennis player. tennis player with the uh, addiction uh, issues. Really? <laughs> Little brother spam in chat, please. Oh, uh, I didn't know that. Who's the, I mean, I don't mean to be insensitive. Who's the one that got stabbed? Oh. Uh, <laughs> I don't know. That's crazy to think, by the way. That got stabbed? Yeah, in the middle of a tennis match. Maybe it's before your time. There was a tennis player female tennis player they got stabbed in like a Wimbledon or something like a major event it was very Minkus maybe in the early 90s apparently it was Monica Sellis uh isn't that crazy to think how did they get out that actually like... I don't know it was the US oh, French Open it wasn't like uh you know Melf's backyard <laughs> <laughs> table tennis if I had table times, it'd be sweet. <laughs> it'd be like Twitch boxing, sweet. <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> Remember last week we talked about the. Oh, yes. That, that was yeah. a Mathis, though. Oh, the, yeah, oh I'm was, sorry. That, that was a Thursday. Uh, uh, oh. Also, it was off camera, so nobody oh, knows. Oh, it was? Never mind. <laughs> <laughs> it was on a video. Are you sure it wasn't on a video? I'm pretty sure it wasn't on uh -oh. video. At least me watching the video you linked to <laughs> definitely was not on video. <laughs> Jennifer Carpenter. Oh, uh, Deb from Dexter. Yeah. She also played Wreck in the, in the movie Wreck. Wreck it Ralph? No, that you know, record. As I like to, I like to use the formal name for it, record. <laughs> boss and eating? Hmm, I don't know, I'm fighting uh, the boss oh. that we should have been fighting. What did you eat today, Alex? I already said don't pay attention. The pasta? Smart. Yeah, I had macaroni and cheese with a fruit cup. I did not oh, oh, I forgot to mention that I'm very mad about what I ate actually, because I also uh, was perusing the menu because you know, I wanted a little bit extra, and I saw a pumpkin cookie, and I was like, oh, that sounds delicious. And a little pumpkin spice cookie. Uh, actually, just a sugar cookie with in the shape of a pumpkin and with, like, orange icing. Dude, and I don't think I've ever been more mad in my entire life. On the subject, can I tell you, Kate came back from her errands today and was like, check it out. I got a pumpkin spice latte. Never had one in my entire life. Took a sip. That was pretty good. Yeah. I wouldn't wouldn't get one for myself for a variety of different reasons, but I was like, it tastes pretty delicious. I can see why people are uh, into it. I can see why Mathis gets it. Why does it fit into your Julian Apples guard? Yeah. Oh. Also cut my caffeine consumption a little bit, so. Really? Yeah. Does it counteract with the steroids? No, not at all. It's oh. just like, uh, <laughs> you know, why... Uh, I was like, I'll give it a shot, you know, maybe I'll notice some positive improvements from having like half as much caffeine a day, and it's changed like nothing at all. But now I'm like, well, uh, I'm saving like, you know, 350 a week on coffee, so no no real reason to, to double down. Maybe he just goes, I want to fit zero coffee, is the difference. Well, I mean, it's possible, but I'm like, you know. I mean, if you're fine. Yeah, that's what I'm saying, I'm not really, I have like no sleeplessness or nausea or jitters or anything, so no anxiety. Yeah. Actually, speaking of mac and cheese, Austin, mm -hmm. I had a huge crate the other week. I realized I didn't have mac and cheese forever. It's so good. I, made, I yeah, I made I made uh, the 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 cheese sauce. It is delicious, and then I just started making more cheese sauce, and I put it on everything now. You know, I uh, forgot how good mac and cheese can be. Panera's right. pretty pretty good. I never knew how good. Yeah, yeah, I forgot about that one. Yeah, like, what's your deal, Ryan? I'm still... That really doesn't fit in the macros. I'll make I'll make you some. You can have a spoon. Can you explain what macros is in first grade vernacular? Oh, like, dude, oh. my game crashed. Oh, no. Pure virtual function being called while application was running. GLS running equals equals one. So in case you uh, work at Gearbox Studios, there's something you can... You can put that in the old uh, issue that, queue. 
Can you please give that a sir. can you give that a red octagon, please, uh, as quickly as possible? That's an urgent situation. Oh, I don't. Um, I can't loot anymore. Can you guys? No, the enemies are just this guy's walking I'm, I'm the right, host. Right, into the sea. I'm the host. He's the host. A host advantage. Yeah, he's just walking. Good thing my bounty ended three minutes ago. Or uh, I guess we just leave and. Oh well, oh, worse people leave. Uh, while Ryan gets back in, I'm gonna go pee. That's fair. Uh oh. All right, it says you're level eleven. It doesn't really bother me, but I'm sure it'll refresh probably. I'll just have to get better. You think when Forehead was first put in the chat or in the Twitch, you think they had a connotation in mind for it or they just put it out there? It is weird, right? Like, why is it called Forehead? <laughs> He's got a normal size forehead. The only thing I can think of it is like eyebrows. Like, that's the only thing that's like super prominent on his face. Mm. But it. I'm supply surprised Resident Sleeper is still out there. It should be global ban. Yeah. I can't seem to click on your names to invite you. Are you guys in a game right now? No, I got it. I got the invite from. Oh, really? Okay. Yeah. Well, I will. Well, Austin's taking a pee. I'm gonna take a pee too. I'll be back. Yo, chat, what's going on? I think we should we should look around right now. Should we uh what we look at right now? Hmm? Oh. I thought you were gone too. I was just gonna look at some stuff. Oh. What kind of stuff? Ooh, wait, yo, give me a Pokemon website, Austin, that I can look at shinies. Oh, what's the Cerebi uh, or whatever? Just yeah, search Pokemon shiny list. I'm building the first thing that comes up, probably. Therapy or it's yeah it's, it's something like that it's like Lee, Pokemon. Lee Duck Chinese list complete list of Pokemon China. All right, let's see. Oh, they're just it's just words. Hmm. Just words. No, there should be an image list. What's it called? The website? There's lots of different ones. Uh, Therapy. Uh, Therapy. Uh, I don't. Know. Remember the other ones. But... Someone selling their Pokemon Go account for three thousand dollars on eBay. That's stupid. Three dollars. That's cheap. Three thousand. Oh, that's that's a good deal. <laughs> Bulbapedia. Oh, I can get. Uh, I can sell my YouTube go. for like. Go, PokemonDB.net slash Pokedex slash shiny. <laughs> Didn't work. PokemonDB.net slash shiny. Slash Pokedex slash shiny. <clears throat> There's just a lot of green I'm noticing. You never uh, answered who your favorite Jennifer was. Um, I was still was looking at him. Oh, were you? I mean, not looking at him. <laughs> um. Waiting for some contenders. Jennifer Garner, Jennifer Love Hewitt, Jennifer Lawrence, Jennifer Anson, Jennifer Lopez, Jennifer Hudson. Man. Jennifer Hudson. Jennifer Hudson. Season one Pokemon are the best, right? Yes. They, just, they look like the most unique and memorable. Well, season two, I like, uh, that was uh, Tyrantar, right? He came season two. Tyrantar is pretty sick. He was when that hit like that that generation. He was by far my favorite. Yo, like, hot take: Rabbler is should be the third generation of Geo dude, not Gollum. <laughs> dude, Golem's pretty good in uh, in Pokemon Go. He's a, he's a budget uh, rock type. I kind of feel also... like I'm spoiling stuff for myself. Sorry, man. No, I was just gonna say the Golem actually like looks like he has his shit together. Graveler, <laughs> I look at him, I'm like, this guy's gonna fall apart at any moment. 
I don't even remember what Graveler looks like because I don't keep him. You don't in, mess with. I don't keep him in Graveler state. I, I, he's either Geo dude, or he's on way to being Golem. Those are the only yeah. two states. What's your guys' take on storing Pokemon? Do you only keep the ones that you fight with, or you keep one of each in Go? Yeah. I don't think it really matters. I, well, I'm just saying your personal preference. What do you do? Uh, I keep anything usable with good stats until my storage is full and I try to keep like one of everything but it's not really a big deal like if you're like oh I'll take one of everything but then when you need space you're like do I really need like this pelican that I'm never going to use in a fight ever probably not <laughs> slash like a hundred percent obviously not. yeah but I then like some the Pokemon you need to have multiples like you could have a good quality of life in Pokemon Go if you only had six Machamps and six uh, Tyranitars. You could still play the game and have fun. What does Tyranitar's uh, origin format? Larvitar. Mm, I don't think I got one of those. That's season two? Season two, Larvitar hatches from eggs. You can also get it from Team Rocket Stops now. What do you have for that, Mel? I, I like the... Oh. I'll tell you what, I got a tip to cap the Pokemon Go. I had zero interest in Pokemon. You play Pokemon Go, it's like, you know, I need some more. I need a quick fix. I need more. I'm going to play Sword <laughs> and Shield, I think. Because they just build, but for people that played it from the beginning, like it just builds off the series one more. Ah, uh, but not this one, because they, they took some Pokemon out. Why? Is that the first time ever? Yep. Why did they do that? Uh, good question. Was the, did they give any lore reasons, or was it... Uh, they gave some very, very bad excuses. Was it the animation thing? Mm, they just didn't want to spend the money. But isn't it just pixels? I mean, I won't say it doesn't take time, but they definitely have the money and the time. They just chose not to. But isn't it just, like, as simple as, like, putting characters in a game? Or is there more to it than that? Uh, there's a lot of interactions and stuff. I mean... They, like how they balance out in fights? Mm, I mean, yeah, but that's not why they didn't do it. Maybe there's some deep lore that we don't know about yet. Nah, they just didn't want to. They just didn't want to spend the money. It was just, that's at the end. They that operate what, that's Pokemon. What they said? Because, that's what they said. Yeah, they no. didn't say that, and, and they were like, "Oh, the animations are too intensive. We don't have enough resources." You know. Corporate speak that was basically we don't want to do it, not we can't do it. It, in terms of Nintendo franchises, like that's in the top, top, right? Or is it in the mid yeah. top, huh. like top 10, right? Top five? I think it's like maybe the highest grossing franchise annually. Yeah, not just for Nintendo, but like for any video game. So then the the well, financial the, resources this thing doesn't really pan doesn't out. Make, well, the controversy is that they operate Pokemon as if it's like an indie game. They have a very, very small team. They refuse to hire new people. They try to make it with while well, spending as little resources as possible, which is why the games are never what they could be and also are bad sometimes. Most times. Because, like, if it's not broke, don't fix it. Uh, more if we can do it for less money, let's. Well, that's the bottom line with most companies and stuff, right? Yeah, but it's taken to an extreme with Pokemon. Like a ridiculous extreme. I mean, I get it, but like, if it's selling as well as it ever has. Well, that's that, exactly. Yeah, no. So it's, it's like, gonna, they people could, are gonna buy it. That's why they do it. The thing is, too, like, they could actually legitimately try to do something to improve it, and it would probably piss people off, right? What? <laughs> No. Are there any are there any That's descending like a... viewpoints opposed to Austin's that may be in the realm of similar vein or no? I think it's a toy no. and people take it too seriously. But I can't understand yeah, no, why people are mad. Bit of a you know misstating what's like yeah, there are people who are acting like actual children about it. Like, I'm still gonna play the game and buy it. I'm not gonna sit here and go like oh that's totally fine though. It is kinda messed up. That they take advantage of their uh, their user base. You could just like and not their employees buy it as really. well though. Like, what? You could just not buy it. 
Yeah. Yeah. But I mean, all right, oh, Reddit. Your money. <laughs> Careful there, bud. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I, I didn't I buy any Pokemon like... games for like, you know, I don't know, 20 years. I turned out okay. But is it like, is the financial thing is and the indie studio, is that like common knowledge or is that just a theory? I mean, I'm pretty, I wouldn't say it's common knowledge, but it's known. I mean, I think people from the company have talked about it. Like Doug Bowser? So wait, they they treat well, it, so like it's game freak. Game freak isn't actually Nintendo. They just they both work together. I think. Game, game freak. freak? Is, game freak. Yeah, game freak is who makes Pokemon. Oh, it sounds like a magazine or something. They've made all of them or a lot of them. All of them. Well, all all of the them. main series, anyway. Pokemon goes in the antic. Yeah, I think Niantic, they originally made, like, whatever system was for something completely different, yeah, and then they yes. adopted it to Pokemon. Dude, Pokemon Go in, uh, August made something like $760 million. <laughs> it's actually, like, a hilarious <laughs> amount of money. Oh, sorry, Fortnite. <laughs> You can check my you can check my figure on that because I uh, I saw it posted maybe like three days ago, but it was something to that absurd degree. No, that's believable for sure. I remember like a couple of years ago, I heard that Puzzles and Dragons was making a million dollars a day, and I was like, wow, a <laughs> million dollars a day—that's crazy. Now it's like twenty-four million dollars a day. It's amazing. I I just think I don't know. I can't speak high enough about it. I think it's a very positive positive game. Yeah. Even though the mechanics are incredibly symbolistic, I'm like Dude, it, that's like the first game I would introduce my child to for sure. What? What would you introduce I, me to? Like Doom? <laughs> Not Doom, <laughs> but... I don't know. My nephew's favorite game is uh, Mario Odyssey right now, and I'm like, he's gonna go far. He's got good taste already. Yeah, but what's his favorite Zelda? He's not old enough to play Zelda. Ah, right? uh, so Skyward Sword. <laughs> <laughs> you haven't played it, Neil. <laughs> no, not at all. <laughs> I have never touched it. That is kind of crazy to me, but it's, I guess at the same time, it's really not. I've beaten Twilight Princess probably faster than you ever will. Um, <laughs> Why do you have to pick the one it? game I used to speak run? Like, uh, that's the one game I definitely have finished faster than you. I got to Jabu Jabu's <laughs> Belly in Ocarina of Time and then washed out because it was too hard. And... Uh, I own Breath of the Wild, but I've never put it into the Switch. Because honestly, <laughs> it's just like, I don't know. I didn't hear many good things about it. You have to at least play it before the next one comes out. Oh, what's, oh, I asked. What's the one with the guy wearing a Lego helmet? The latest one? What? The guy wearing a Lego helmet. It's like a U oh, Le he's the U Majora's Lego mask. helmet. No, no, no. It's Never a newer... Twilight Princess. Yeah. What? Are you talking about Midna? Yeah. Do you know what like... I just asked, or did you just say yes to it because you thought it would make me happy? <laughs> no, I think Midna's got to be that character's name. It looks like a Midna. <laughs> think I... It looks like a Midna. I... <laughs> the guy with the huge Lego helmet. <laughs> what is a Lego helmet? No, I know what he's talking about. It's like about. a metal helmet. I just don't know. I have no idea what a Lego helmet is, dude. Yo, that grenade was sick, dude. Yo, that's the one you gave me. I know. No, that was my grenade. Oh, was it? Well, you know, it was okay then. <laughs> Oops. Dude, this rocket launcher is killer. So... 
Okay, and Minda is like a an half animal character? No, Minda's an imp. Is a what? An imp. An imp? Yeah. Yeah. That sounds right. I mean, like a doom imp or. There's many forms of imps. Yep. Right? He's absolutely right. I'm like, imp and doom dead. is like a brown, uh, like beast with red eyes and spikes on the shoulder. And then, and then an imp in Zelda is like a Lego helmet. What is? A I really Lego? want to know what the Lego what helmet is. Lego is. No, I know. Oh, okay, I'm gonna. I'm gonna. No, so describe are we it. Still talking about Zelda? Zelda? Yeah. Yes. I'll pull up a picture Big of it after this boss fight. Doc. How do you gonna pull the Lego helmet? Zelda's not gonna. Okay, that might you know actually what? return a result. It's I'm just the one that right comes. Now. It comes to a point. Lego helmet. Does it come to a character. point or does it look like it has like two horn? Kind of? It lo looks like a U. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know who he's talking about. Um, I just don't know the character's name, but I visually know who he's talking about. Are they impish? No, I thought it was very skinny. Like super thin. The character was super thin. I'm finding it. <laughs> Midna gives me a Lego helmet. Nah, mean. This one. Oh, oh yeah, yeah. This uh, thing right here, Lego helmet. What is this, chat? Yeah, and he's got like, uh, like his, his, he's got like red eyes with a pale face, but he's got like some, some, some black eyeliner. Yeah. Kind of stuff. Yeah, that's what? Twilight Princess. It's, it's okay. he's talk, he's talking about the Twilight Princess. Oh, so he's talking about the, like this. Now. Is he talking about Zant? It's the kid. It's the kid. <laughs> oh, it that, is Midna. The okay. Storm, the stone helmet. Where's the dog with the diamond go? He's talking about Zant. Kid. <laughs> A golden skull polo? Talking about midnight. That game is from 2008. Uh, I thought that was still in the last one. No, Twilight well, Princess is it. from 2006. That it was like a Wii. You'll, launch you'll never believe what the main character can do in that game. <laughs> the one that turns into a wolf. Yeah. Awesome. But I thought they recently came out because there was amiibos for it. There was a remake. A reach by remaster. Uh, uh, I got stuck at only one part in Twilight Princess. Can you guess what it is if I've never told you before? It's it's pretty early. Probably within probably the first the menu. two or three hours. Uh, it's not the menu, but that's a good guess. First two or three hours. I was going to say Water Temple, but there's no way that you got there in the first I told you uh, that very fast. Was it, were you stuck in the sewers? No. Is it past the sewers? I have no idea. Um, was it the bug? Is the first bug section? No. I probably um, didn't know how to get out of the town. He's really close. Did you not know to like fish for the cat or whatever? Ooh, he's close, but it's, it's me not knowing something, but it's not related to fishing. Uh, you gotta get the the chickens and throw them on the clay pots. Into the room where you get the shield? No. Fuck. Uh, see, this, see, the issue is that when you speedrun, you skip this part of the game. So. Uh, really? I don't think you skip this part of the game. It's very lore rich. <laughs> oh, did you not know how to break or dig out of the cell? He's absolutely right. Let's <laughs> go. It said it was like. Two hours of me trying to figure out how to get out of this jail cell, thinking it was like a huge puzzle. And then it turns out all you gotta do is walk over to the door and it goes, hey, press down to dig. Yeah. <laughs> One bite at a time. Whoa. Hot take for me, the Zelda series died when it came out for 64. That's just mad. Uh, that's just... When it came out or after? The 64 version is when I hung it up. Like I mean, you, you one of the games that's considered the greatest game yeah, of all time. Yeah, it's actually... Yeah. I mean, at least three 3D Zeldas are probably considered, like, some of the greatest games ever. We got a, we got a real Eagle Raptor over here. That's Debra. <laughs> <laughs> the Super Nintendo one? Come on now. Dude, Link to the Past is really good. Peak. I, you know, <laughs> it's possible. It peaked for 2D, yeah. <laughs> it's probably my favorite Zelda, honestly, but it's still madness. Have you played Breath of the Wild? I've not played Breath of the Wild, but I, I forgot to mention that I did beat... Well, I didn't beat A Link to the Past. I got all the way to the final boss battle, 
Then when I turned on the console the next day, the battery in the save chip had died. No. So <laughs> I was like, you know what? I'm just gonna tell people that I beat this rather than re-beat the whole game all over again. There is a purple grenade here. I only use light Pick it up. I, uh, I don't I'll, I'll have grenade. I, I have two actives instead of a grenade. Uh. I know I could sell it, but if anybody can use it, I'll use it. I am. I, I know we've said it twenty times. I am stunned how much more fun I'm having. <laughs> With no I just like getting to talk about stuff other than the video game, you know? For real. Yeah. Wait, none of the three of you haven't played Breath of the Wild, have you? Uh, no, I've I been bought it and played it. it for five minutes. I've been hemming and hawing because, like, some people say, like, hey, since Ryan's never going to stream it, what about you? And I'm like, like it's the mouth prophecy. Play what they ain't. <laughs> well, but I don't know. Like, I, I, it's like. You get a couple of people saying they'd love to watch you stream it, but I don't know if that's what they can do with everybody. And once you... I start playing it, I'd want to finish playing it. Yeah, why don't you play a game that you want to play? And... Well, that's, I mean, that's what I'm doing. No, I don't know. I'm just... I'm not saying I don't want to play it, but it's like some games I actually reserve for, you know, alone time. Mm. I definitely... So, like, when you're listening to your audience, like... If they say play something, you know, take it as a tip. You maybe look into it. When they say don't play something, ignore that person. Mm, absolutely. Because it's like a like a ninety percent chance they just don't like the game, and they're telling you you won't like it. Oh yeah, like yeah. It. No, I mean I don't ever let that. Like... People keep asking me to play good games on my Sunday show, and I keep telling them no. <laughs> Dude, just play Last of Us. No, that I. That's the only thing that can trigger me. Dude. I that heard, because I, I started playing it on Saturday, and people are like, oh, Dan hates this game. I, really? I don't dislike anything that I dislike. Is it just the ending? The end? Or it's just, and then it's like, come on. Like, it, if you're going to be money grab, be money grab, and don't don't claim it as one of the greatest stories of all time, where it's just a hipster ending. That's wait, not how what? it's supposed wait, to be. Wait, what is he talking about? It's it, The Last of Us. Have you played oh, The Last of Us? I haven't. I don't, don't, really don't play it, Austin. It's actually like a lot of people say it's one of their favorite games. I like saying it better when it's in 2D. <laughs> it's not busy at my neighbors. It's a pretty good game. <laughs> Melv, after the ending, joke. tell me it's not a hipster ending. I don't even know what you mean by a hipster well, ending. I don't want to ruin it for you. so just... I've played it before, but I don't want to ruin it for people who actually haven't seen it. But like, I get it. The ending it's a is... non-ending. There's a sequel. You'd be the whole point of the non-ending was to, for them to make a sequel. That it's a game that if it didn't have a sequel, it would be better. Maybe so, but it's not a bad. You know, it's just because it doesn't make it bad. <laughs> oh, we got it. You know, it's like saying, uh, "What do you think of Karate Kid Two and 3? Karate Kid Two is ten out of ten. No, they should have ended it at one. It would have actually been better. Then you never would have met Kumiko, chosen. Then you're gonna Sato. see. You, I could say the same thing about. You wouldn't get to see the Last back of us, story of Mr. Last Miyagi. Last of Us Two comes out. You know, they're probably gonna have a bunch of Gul'dan chains and red shirts, and you're like, this is the best game ever. I'm glad they came out with a second one. How do I get to you guys? Oh, it's no big deal. Think... Austin and I are just fighting a boss right now. I mean, I'm here. My house is here. Sorry, I saw your name. I thought you were in it. I'm just getting somewhere. electrocuted. Austin, tell your dog to res me. I mean, I could just res you. Oh, you're fucking dead. <laughs> 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 yeah, this is uh, this is hard. The dog does res eventually. Yo. Probably got a little like. This character's cool and all, but the dog feels very underpowered. There we go. To put a nice little bow in the Zelda convo, I, I think I would I would like Breath of the Wild, but it's dangerous to, for me to play a game like that. Because it's, it's not linear, you know? You can play, it's like it, uh, yeah. Red Dead Redemption, it you play it forever. Like, it doesn't leave you hanging, though. Like... No, 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 I mean just like, why they point you in the right direction. 
they, yeah, they'll tell you where to go, but they don't tell you what you have to go here. They just say, whenever you want, you can go here, 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 or here, or anywhere else. But eventually, you gotta go here, and here is the end of the game. Hmm. But then, can you, like, cook and farm and do all that stuff all day long and hunt and fish? You do whatever you want in that game. That's what I mean. I'm dangerous in those kind of games. What do you mean? Like, because you can, you can lose 20 hours just hunting. Yeah, I mean, isn't that a good thing? I mean, certain times. Well, no. oh, get in there! Vacuum it up! <laughs> Who got the legendary? Not uh -huh, me. Wait, you can't shoot these guys? No. We did that. Didn't we get anything good? I got a I was down gun. Though, but... I got a green pistol. It might have been. I don't think he dropped anything up. crazy. Yeah. Dunk it, dunk it, dunk it. Oh, you guys left. We need to go mount the charge pack. We have to mount Kilovolt's charge pack, is the thing. That's Ryan, are you going to do uh, XCOM 2 campaign now that Kate's voice pack is ready? No, but when they inevitably a announce a third XCOM mm. game, I will definitely play it. But another one of two could tide you over. It's all right. I don't need to tie myself over. I've played it about six times. Yeah, but you didn't do it with mods. That's because mods. Here's my. I'm telling take. you, the voice packs make it legitimately. I, I believe like, that. Four times better. But my. Yeah. Oh, we got 150 legendary juice. What the heck is that? Well, yeah, what does that even mean? <laughs> my opinion about mods is that. Nine times out of ten, they make a game worse. <laughs> yeah, but that is irrelevant here because this, it makes them better. When Dan, Dan like, explodes a dude's head and he goes, Romance star, shut yourself, shut yourself. <laughs> it's the best thing ever. Uh, do you guys mind if I fast travel us back to Lilith? Please do. Well, that's the main quest. We should do more side quests. Oh, okay, 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 okay. My music is bugged, and it's still playing the boss music. Uh, let's see, level sixteen, proof of life. You just choose something that's good to me. There we go. Oh, I should upgrade though. You guys don't need to do inventory sales. Um, um I mean, I could, but I don't think I'm. Okay. I got a, I got some slots left. Kind of wish this song would stop. <laughs> is this whole plan for you guys? No. Yep. The thing yeah, is, I, I got down when the boss died. The boss health and my boss too. How do you, what's the hotkey for the upside down smiley face? Because I want to put it in chat right now. What? Alt F4. You know, the one that's like a smiley face, but is upside down. So it's not a smile. It's more like, I see what you did there, but please stop. Yeah, that's the one. The one, the first clown emoji. How do I go down? Hmm, this map is confusing. I'm going to let you go. And then I'm gonna get myself there. What's the world? Yeah, how'd you do that? Where are you guys? Oh, oh, that's oh like here we go. Radio tower thingy. Yo, Ryan, that grenade you gave me. It's good. It's Pog. Yo. Yeah. Great it's like uh, what uh, Bill Murray uses in Ghostbusters. Okay. <laughs>
The thing he catches Ecto Cooler with. Whoops, my, my bad. I didn't mean to mark the ground. It's my mistake. Excuse me, sir. You talking about the ghost trap? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Donkey, donkey. Look at this. Oh, never mind. I gotta recharge him. Are we? Are all the boys together? Or just me and you. Just me and you. Where are those guys at? I'm not in the menu. I'm not in the menu. I'm doing some <laughs> side quest thingy. Hey, what? The diamond was right here. What's your favorite movie that came out in the 1980s? Oof. Uh, Goonies or Monster Squad. I think Maybe I know the what's, what's Monster Squad? Damn, damn. You've never seen Monster Squad? No, yo. It's like a Halloween version of the Goonies. Really? It's a uh, bunch of these kids and um, they like they're all like super like oh Frankenstein's real Dracula's real kind of thing or whatever and he a they actually are and they have to freaking they have to like fight him and defeat Dracula and stuff. And, Who's in uh, it? Or he fell. I'm trying to think if there's anybody that would be known today, but like, oh, I swear to God, it's worth a watch. It's so good. And then one guy's like, it's a wolfman. You gotta kick him in the nards. Kick him in the nards. <laughs> and then he kicks him in the nards, and the wolfman's like, ah. <laughs> it's got like the swamp thing, and the mummy, well, and it's well, got it's a good like, Halloween the, movie. Is it scary or like funny? It's not what? for Desmond. It's not, it's like, um,. <laughs> No, it's kind of like the Goonies, but with Lost you Boys. Know, Lost Boys is good. It's uh. Look at the Boys. look at the look at the ghost trap. Did you see that? So like bits of humor, but serious undertones. Yeah, it's not like super super serious. You know, it's a fun little action. Like it'd be a good adventure. Halloween movie. Yeah, absolutely. It's one of the like I like to watch it. Not every year, maybe, but I, I watch it most, uh, most years around Halloween. You know what, Melf? Unlike Ryan Gary, I'm going to put it on my to-watch list. I appreciate it, you know, uh, and let me know. I think you'll 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 enjoy it. You know, if you like the Goonies. I'm not saying it's, it's like the Goonies. I mean, you said it's like the Goonies, but Halloween. Just, right? It's kind of similar in that it's like, you know, kids. They got to, like, you know, Do they're something. going around town. They got, and it's like the kids are doing it. It's like the adults don't believe it kind of thing. You know? Yeah, I got you. Is the Andrew Dice Clay in it? Uh, I mean, I'd have to see a picture or something. I'm not familiar with the name. For the resurrection. Come on. Austin, what's your favorite name? Thank you for the resurrection. I don't think I can name a 1980s movie. You can't name a movie that came out in the 1980s. Probably not, no. What Star Wars it? Back to the Future. Uh, I mean... Teen Wolf. I've never seen Back Teen to Wolf the Future. Teen Wolf is legit good. I haven't seen that. I've never seen Star Wars. You haven't seen like Teen Wolf, Austin? Uh, I mean, uh, irony. <laughs> I mean, it's... It's a pretty old movie. I, uh, you know. Did it. Freed Bloodshine. Like, Teen Wolf is, uh... Is that 80s or early? 80s, 100% 80s. I need to watch Rambo, the first one. I don't know if I need to, but I want to. <laughs> <laughs> Why not, you know? Dude, I'm telling I, I, uh, well, I don't know if Dan's seen one. It's one of my, it's my favorite Peter Jackson, The Frighteners. Have you ever seen that, Dan? Mm -mm. That's another Halloween time movie. I still take a lot of issue with you calling that your favorite Peter Jackson. Because Lord of the Rings, he, it's not, it's like Lord of the Rings, that's Tolkien, you know. Oh, he just took the story and put it on. Big deal. I mean, it was a big deal. 
I'm not saying that I don't like Lord of the Rings. I just, uh, you know, it's like saying, what's your favorite band? Oh, the Beatles. I can't get over Lord of the Rings having Aragorn be Viggo Mortensen and the orcs don't look like orcs. I, that's hard to... That ruined it for me. What are you talking about? The orcs are just humans with makeup on. <laughs> like, they're not, like... Orcs are like Warcraft orcs. Wait, Orc you emoji. hear about the way they made the ghosts in Ghostbusters. <laughs> what? God, the map is so confusing. Yeah, I wish they had like uh Yeah. Like I just don't know. I literally just came from here and I don't know where it is. Oh here it is. Definitely. Like Jamer Coster Waldo could be a good Jamer <laughs> Aragorn. <laughs> Vigo Mortensen, nah nah nah. Do you use a good Aragorn? Yeah, he's ah, pretty good. Aragorn has blonde hair. Not for my generation. You don't what do you read. think of uh, Gremlins, Dan? <laughs> uh, I never saw it. What? That actually blows my mind. What happened, to, what happened to Steven Tyler's daughter? She's not in movies anymore. She's in uh, Ad Astra. Came out oh, last she is? Friday and is number one at the box office, I believe. Did you see it? <laughs> <laughs> oh, Ryan is... I have the stats to back up my <laughs> falsehoods. <laughs> uh, I have not seen it yet, no. Kate didn't want to see it this weekend. Perhaps I'll, I'll work my magic on her. We'll see next week. It's a long way to the next Marvel release. <laughs> Vigo Morrison to me is like a quintessential like villain scumbag type character. From what? what? History of Violence? No, but he's a villain in like a 90s movie and I can't shake oh, really? that. He's very typecasted. <laughs> What's the movie? I don't, <laughs> I don't know. He was like not even the, the lead guy. He was like a bit a bit villain. And I'm like, oh yeah, that's Aragorn. <laughs> what did you think? Well, what's that movie where he plays like uh, the Russian mob, Delio? And he has a fight scene in the sauna with his Dangus. That's uh, Eastern Promises. Yeah. There's so a looter cycle. I didn't mean to interrupt, but there's, no, there's okay. free loot coming out of this lady here. She's gone. Okay. He'd be in like town or something, like eating, and he had like the tattoos. And apparently, I don't know if it's true, but they're like, some people thought like the tattoos looked so authentic. They're like, actually thought this guy was just gonna straight up, like, like gonna murder them. You know what I'm saying? I do, I know what I'm saying. For the record, my favorite 1980s movie is John Carpenter's The Thing. That is such a Ryan answer. A great is that about a slime guy? <laughs> it ate everyone. Uh, What's the thing about? I do not believe it's uh, about a slime guy. <laughs> Why did you say it like that? <laughs> it is about a, a shape-shifting alien. Oh. Uh. I guess it, you know, I think you're thinking of Flubber. No, Swamp Thing. That came out in like 1930. No. Maybe there is an 80s reboot. They did a lot, yeah. of, that, a lot of that in the 80s. Flubber. <laughs> <laughs> It was a Disney movie. It was. Little Brother Spam and Chat. Disney went through a, a period where it, it sucked really bad. Well, is Austin at the quest? Yeah. How did we get there? I don't blame you for not knowing how. It's insane how hidden this place is. Lead us. Is it up or down? Down. Thanks. Keeps going up. <laughs> Flubber was great. It's a pretty terrible movie. It's pretty bad. 
It's really good if you're like under the age of 11. There's, Yo, a, there's there a very is... simple yeah. rule about movies if you want to determine if your movie is for kids or not. Is there a scene where people play basketball? If the answer to that question is yes, there's one more question. Is the movie about basketball? If the movie is not about basketball, there is a 100% chance you are watching a movie made for children. <laughs> In Flubber, there is a scene where he puts Flubber on his shoes yeah. and plays in the basketball game. Uh, he Ergo. puts them on thumbtacks and he puts those in his shoes. Ergo, a movie for children. Hoop Dreams? There is, Hoop Dreams? See, it's there is basketball. basketball in the movie, but the movie is about basketball. And as a result, it, it fails the second test, meaning it's not a movie for children. Little Nicky has basketball. Oh, Dan's there. Little yeah. Nicky does indeed have basketball. It is also a movie for children. So, speaking of children's movies, I was looking for something. You know, we don't. What? What? It doesn't matter. We don't watch a lot of TV or movies or stuff. I was looking for like a movie for Desmond. This is a while back, and you gotta remember, he's two and a half, three years old. There's this movie, and I'm like, all right, it was made in, like, the late 60s, early 70s by Disney. It, it's a home run. Like, nothing bad could happen in it, right? You know? Like, it's slow moving. There's real animals. It's, it's this movie called Nikki the Dog. And it's about a Canadian that dresses up like Mel, who has a dog that, uh, like, gets in a fight. Like, gets into, like, some trouble with, like, an actual bear. And then, you know, like, I'm kind of dozing off a little bit or something or not paying attention. And I go back in the room, and there's a dog fighting scene with people betting on dog fighting in a Disney movie. <laughs> I couldn't turn the movie off fast enough. It's like, what happened in that? Like, how, how does that happen? It's just the sign of the times. You ever watch Birth of a Nation? No. <laughs> well, actually, I think I did in the film study class. I mean, I've seen it. But it's like, it's what it's, you know, considered, at least at the time, you know, it was like a great movie and all that stuff, but extremely, it's like, you know, very, 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 very racist. It is a highly racist film. Yeah. It's probably the most noteworthy racist film in history. Yeah. The only other racist movie I, I can think of is White Man Can't Jump. I, I was going to mention that as the <laughs> basketball thingy. Uh, Wesley Snipes and, uh, what's his face? Woody Harrelson. Guy. Woody Harrelson. Great job on the quest, boys. Really appreciate it. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> if I can figure out where to go, I've been trying to get to you. I'd love to be there. Now. Uh, let's go. Uh, my inventory's fucking stopped, so if you can find the thing, let's get back to Sanctuary. <clears throat> yeah, I watched it in a college... Uh, film study class. I'm like, yeah. why are we watching this? Well, there's a few things. I think um, Birth of a Nation, or what's the other one? Is like per capita, or like adjusted for inflation, like one of the most expensive <clears throat> movies of all time. Like, uh, some it's not called Metrop. Maybe Metropolis. I watched like some really old. That's movies. a movie you would have seen. Yeah, in a film yeah. Class, yeah. It's from like the 1920s. Yeah. Take me back to Sanctuary, please. Okay, we're traveling. We're traveling. Oh, I'm free. Oh, the music wouldn't stop playing from the boss. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I had seen. Oh, it's over. Come Have on. you guys seen Blazing Saddles? I haven't. On my list of things. Is it good? Right after Monster Squad. And the thing, if you can, if you're not afraid of a little blob, man. And graphics. Is the thing like suspense or is it yes. memes? Okay. It is. It's a suspense movie. And it's your favorite '80s movie. Yeah, it might be one of my favorite movies of all time. It would probably wow. be top five without going to, without having to think about it anymore. And there are no MCU movies in your top five, right? Absolutely not. No. Okay. You want to know what Ryan's number three favorite movie is? What? Rushing? 
striptease. Yep. Striptease, Elizabeth Berkeley. Great, That's great the movie. Girls. Ah, Demi Moore. Yeah. yeah. How could I forget? <laughs> Is it Demi? I always, uh, I always, I don't know if Demi or Demi. I just say Sorry, Demi because it sounds funnier that way. Yeah. Shawshank Redemption. Yeah. That's good. It's one of the. I don't actually. One it, of the top I mean, like it, 250 movies I've ever seen for sure. <laughs> That's for sure. I still uh, I gotta watch it again. It's been it's been a it's been a good year. I gotta watch Count of Monte Cristo. Is that good? Is that with Leo? No. So I mean, there's an older version from like the 60s or whatever, and then there's like an early 2000s version with uh, Ryan knows his name, but Jimmy he was the, he was Jesus Christ and yeah. Passion of the Christ, and uh, he's been in some other stuff, but. It's uh, I mean, if you've never seen it, it's it's a it's a it's a good good flick or a good read if you want to read it. It's about revenge. You ever see uh, Little Man, Dan? Mm -mm. It's a movie. Um, it's a Wayans <laughs> Brothers film, and one of the Wayans Brothers plays an impossibly small cat burglar who masquerades as uh, an adopted son for, uh, I believe it's Sean Wayans and his his significant other, who I believe is played by Gabrielle Union. That's that's my, uh, that's my memory, at least. Hmm. Sounds like a goodie. It's pretty good. It's up there, at least. Heck is this dude? It's probably probably just about the best movie ever made. What is this? Austin Matthews straight up tried to open a lady's car and then mooned her when she confronted him. Who's Austin Matthews? It's like he's one of the best players in the yeah, NHL. Like top ten NHL player. Right now, oh, I mean he's not top, anymore. Top, top, <laughs> top five. Did he? Did this actually happen? I don't know. I saw something this morning of like a screenshot of like a like a police report type thing, but you never know. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just saying, like you know, it, it's something somebody could fake. Right? Maybe like, the worst way you could have phrased that. <laughs> I'm just saying, you don't know, man. They got all never. deep fakes. No, you never it, know. It's yeah. just a It was like deep fakes. Six different lines of text. Like there was. Mm -hmm. I could do. I could. I could have done what was screenshotted. So. Just real quick, where do you buy the SDU upgrades for your backpack? I'm just running around in circles. Um, it, the same where the green uh, and the ammo and gun. Retriever is. Oh, okay. Thank you. Thank you. It's in the in between those two. I am like weapon skin. Oh. Oh yeah yeah. yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. What a strange thing to do. That's your ex captain of the Toronto Maple Leafs. <laughs> I mean, if he actually did that, though, that would hurt his chances. Well, who are they gonna make, uh, Mitch Marner? No, Is Daniel Marlowe they, still play I, for the Goat Leafs? Pardon? No. It's Marlowe's, uh, Marlowe's on no. signed, I think. Yeah. He's, a, he's an I, elderly free agent. I think he was hoping that he could get back to the Sharks, but... Um, I don't know, like, I figure if they don't make Matthews captain, they'd probably just, like... A lot of people are saying Captain Morgan or Tavares, and they Captain would make... Morgan. <laughs> yeah, Morgan Riley. He's he's uh, but people his nickname is like Captain Morgan. Well, I spent all summer waiting for the Canucks to sign Brock Besser. One week ago, they signed him, played in his first uh, preseason game, and now he's in concussion protocol. So, uh, for real? <laughs> yeah. Oh my God. 
He's, uh, I mean, that sucks. That, like, it legit sucks, though. Like, one for his health, but also, like, how long was he out with a broken back? That, look, people say I know it wasn't a broken back. Well, no, it was, but people are like, he's injury prone. Like, in his first season, I don't want to call him out by name, but some dude on our team left the gate open, and then he got body checked into the open door. It's like, yeah. it's not injury prone. You should put any human spine in those conditions, and you're going to get the same result. Yeah, but why is the injury prone, though? It's because the dang gate, dude. It's like garden stick. <laughs> Just a crappy latch. Everyone on Team Unity should open their mail to get free guns. No, forget that. You you ban that person when we chat 10 minutes. You don't have to do that. But, are we going to do more questions? Resin. Or are we done? Are we? Oh, it's 11.15. Holy shit. Yeah. It's really up to you guys. I had much more fun this week than last week. I'm just out here pulling the one arm bandit. Yeah, I'm, I'm just pulling the, the slots at the moment. Oh, yeah. I, mean, I got food on the way, so I don't mind if we end, but I also don't mind if we keep going. I can I can let it sit. All right. I, in that, based on the response, I'm going to spend all my iridium, and then we can finish. It's just crazy how much better it is with no voices. <laughs> I like I almost want that to be in like the review guide for the game. It's just like if you're really interested in having a fun time, just turn the voices to zero. You can still read the writing, but you can actually also hear yourself think. There is just way too much. I didn't really notice it until you mentioned it. Dude, it's like Al Pacino in Scent of a Woman. He's like not being able to see allows him to appreciate the other aspects of his life that much more. And I was like, Al Pacino, that's ridiculous. Now I'm like, he's got it all figured out, dude. It's just like... <laughs> oh, come on. I'm not even talking about, you won again, you're so good. Thank you, thank you. The, uh, it's not even that it's bad. Like, whether it's good or bad, there's just too much of it. Yeah. Like, the second a character stops talking, another character is not even there. So starts it's... talking about other shit. In... Yeah. Austin, I got a blue. Do you want a blue class mod? Right here. Uh, yeah, pop, pop it out. Right here. Can you grab it or no? Uh, let's see. Y'all, it seems pretty good. Does anybody want a purple grenade? But the catch is you have to actually use it. You can't sell it. <laughs> I mean, I'll look at the seat it's better than mine. I was trying to dual dance, but I don't need to. Oh, I pulled the perp. Which prime? Which prime? Oh, nothing. That's expensive. 10 iridium? Awesome. What can you even get from that? That's good. I just got a uh, blue level 18. As a low, like, or a high four. I mean, if, you, if, you, if when you win, you always win big. <coughs> that was yours. I was like, why can't I pick that up? Three All right. cocktail umbrellas equals. <laughs> I did. The only noticeable difference from the texture quality being very oh, low is I can't oh, read the slot gold. machine. Legendary. Sorry. That's my first one. Wait, did awesome. you get it from You're the right. Iridium? Yeah. Oh, what was it? Hazardous Destructo Spinner. What, was it a gun? Oh, yeah. Shit. Yeah, he got the fucking cards. That's insane. Yo. Thank you, thank you. Equip that. Tell me that, Austin. Awesome. That'll be your hype for next week since you don't get to see it until later. Yeah. <laughs> Hey, Dan, I don't want to, you know, get under your skin here or anything, but... Uh, <laughs> you want to get under my skin? <laughs> one, one hour of Tetris 99 played uh, on the stream today. Two dubs. Why would that get under my skin, Ryan? I'm very happy for you. <laughs> I'm just hey, telling you, you, you. All you got to do, you cut uh, those panic spins out and the world's your oyster. I had someone come in my in my chat on Monday say, "Hey Dan, you inspired me to buy a switch on Saturday. I got my first win on Sunday." <laughs> <laughs> like 
Yeah. Well, congratulations. Oh, that's so good. That is, that is very That good. is extremely great. Oh, How man. many uh, times did you die in the search today, Ryan? Uh, probably like 25. <laughs> is, it, that, is that any good? Dark Souls robots? Is it good? Or? Yeah, dude, it's good. It's good. You can also put exclamation point surge too with a capital S in chat. You can get a link to purchase it for yourself if you're interested. Thanks to Focus Home Interactive for sponsoring an early portion of the stream. Can I get your uh, non-influenced opinion on it? It's good. The combat is good. For sure. Does it stack up with Miyazaki's classic trilogy? Uh, I mean, it's hard to say this early, basically. Like, I don't know. <laughs> it... It, it's different than Dark Souls for sure. Like the way that it works is like you chop, you can target individual limbs on an enemy instead of just targeting like their center. And then, you know, so if they have a cool piece of equipment, you can chop off like their arm that holds that piece of equipment. Ooh. And then you get the blueprint to build it yourself. And then it's kind of like, it's more bloodborne in the sense that like all the weapons are kind of equal tier. Um, you just choose one you like and then upgrade it. That's how Bloodborne is? More or less, yeah. Like, it, I, I use the same weapon. In Bloodborne? I use the same weapon the entire Bloodborne playthrough. Uh, is there cosmetics in Bloodborne? Oh, yeah. You can, you okay. you will look, you'll, you'll get the drip. You'll get the HP okay. Lovecraft drip. I always think of Mathis when you talk about HP Lovecraft. <laughs> anyway. Anyone want to take a guess at H.P. Lovecraft's uh, favorite movie? 